<laughs> well, all right, what's up, everybody? We're back. It's been a week. Another Tuesday. Back on the Adobe channel, and I've got my buddy Adam Stokes with me this evening. Well, for her, for for her, for you, <laughs> it's like yeah, for almost everybody tomorrow, else, right? <laughs> yeah, I've got got an hour, got an hour till it. I'm in the future. In the future, boy. Yeah. Oh man. So how's it going? I see. Let's see. Who's in the chat? Uh, I see Nightbots here. <laughs> yeah, he banned me last time. Don't anger Nightbot. <laughs> oh, oh, don't don't do it. It's bad. Uh, yeah, he, he banned me last time. Yeah, Nightbot. Nightbot has a. Nightbot's got a, a bone to pick with everybody. <laughs> he's, definitely, he's, definitely got, he's got a temper. Let's see. If you're in the chat, press one. Anybody lurking? Who's here? <laughs> press one. What's up? See, Niku's here. Right on. <laughs> Megan, how's it going? <laughs> so we got some stuff in store tonight. We'll jump into that in a minute. If you, if, for those of you spying the, the desktop, you already see there's a wolf on Adam's screen. Oh, shit. <laughs> Which is all right. Leave it there. <laughs> oh, no. Ruined it already. <laughs> Ruined it already. Look, I'll just do this. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> yes. See, I'm, I was prepared. I knew I was coming on. I was prepared. I did an extra special Google It's all before. downhill from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, <clears throat> so we're gonna do we're gonna do some some wolf drawings tonight, but we're gonna we're we got an interesting approach to it. But first, how, we got to introduce my buddy Adam here. Adam, what do you do? Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> um, well, I do illustrations. <coughs> uh, an illustrator. I do mostly work for people on YouTube uh, with thumbnails and all this stuff. So most of it's like cartoony, but my personal stuff is band related, right? Like very band related. So it's a lot of stippling and limited color and all this sort of stuff for screen printing on t-shirts. That's, that's Adam's Adam's very talented. Basic. He's got well, a lot of different styles that your your range is is like pretty it's wide. Pre <laughs> it's, it's pretty wide. I think that was just that was that, I think that was college that did that. Because you have to do everything. Yeah, very true. You're forced to do everything. Type is the only thing I can't do. <laughs> type? You can't do type? Terrible oh, we'll whip type. you into shape. <laughs> I haven't need any type. I'll just, I'll just ask you. Just, just, just ask Evan. So, if you've seen... Places you might have seen Adam's work is if you if you uh, uh, are, are a, a YouTube watcher of the gaming scene, you will probably have come across... Uh, thumbnails for like Scene Anners and Nogla and um, Moosh Knuckle and a uh, few others. That's all Adam's handiwork. So, and that's more, uh, that's like one style you got down. And then if you've seen yeah. Adam's other work, he's got a very cool like stippling style. Um, you got some real like dark stuff too. I've seen like the the more I, yeah, like I, I like the I like the, I like the morbid stuff. Yeah, <laughs> kind of <laughs> like I think that that that's purely my music taste that, yeah, that kind yeah. of does that though. The old rock and roll. <laughs> I, saw, I saw zombies and werewolves and crazy stuff. Right so. on. What's up, Flatality? I see Flatality in the chat. Snow Mew. Hope I'm not butchering that 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 name. I'm I'm terrible I'm sure, at that, dude. I'm sure I'm sure we'll butcher <laughs> ninety percent of the names in the chat. Usernames are like, yeah, I just kill all of them. I try yes. though. I try my hardest. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. I do that too. Okay, well we're in the same boat. So yep. let's see. We got um, we're gonna work on a. We we have a sketch that we're gonna work off of in the sketch that um that you should be seeing on screen let me make sure it's coming through where to go i got too many screens open dude let me copy I this one i have to keep control off <laughs> it always gets too yeah there we go so all right but, so uh, 
Oh, Adam's got it up too. Yep. So we we did this really quick sketch, and what we're gonna try to do tonight is uh, both of us have you know different styles. We're gonna work off the same sketch. And we've actually, in in the in the meantime, we've uh, we went ahead and kind of did our own like, because when you do sketching, you know, Adam, correct me if I'm wrong, but you you usually do a base sketch and then you like sketch over it and you repair yeah. it and fix Refine it, refine it, yeah, yeah you, you and take go it through and make it better. Exactly. Yeah. So both of us this then took this base sketch and then we both like sketched on top of it, and you you might have saw a preview of, of Adam's up there for a second. Yeah. Um, Adam's last name is Adam Stokes. So let me let me link you up on on stuff so they know who you are. Ooh. If I remember. Go, go pay yourself now. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you, you've, hyped, you've hyped me up. You're like a hype man. You've got all the hype going. Alright, so I posted Adam's Twitter. He's got a lot of work there. You check out his work. And uh and see what what he's up to, and you did you did the 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 logo for Wildcat right for I am Wildcat the yeah. kind of the yeah yeah I re well I sort of re revamped it it was it's a similar logo but yeah that was that was a, that was like two years ago I think yeah <laughs> long time ago back when I was using a mouse and keyboard to do everything oh those are the days but the the before those welcome were, days. <laughs> terrible days. Uh, you know, I've, upgra I've upgraded since then. Your, let me let me ask you. Your tablet now is it is it uh, uh, with a screen or without a screen? Uh, with mine's with a, a screen. Okay. Twenty-two Cintiq. Have you have you ever used a without one? You know, with the like yes. a. And it's I I can't do it. You I, can't I do can't, it. See, I, I we have that in common. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't. I just feel so disconnected from what I'm doing. It just doesn't work. Yeah, the coordination it's so I can't I I couldn't yeah. wrap my brain around it. I yeah. bought three I, different tablets with no screen on them and I couldn't like I couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, I've tried. I could not do it. So, big respect I've, for I've people that can. I've had a couple cheap man. ones. What's that? And then I had I've had a couple cheap ones and then uh, when I was at college they had the the big like uh whack on ones. Yeah. Big in choices. And I used to steal them all the time. I used to bring them home. <laughs> They let me, not actually steal. You gave him back. <laughs> back. But um, that was as close as I got, and then I didn't start on to Cintiq until after I left college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't do it. I don't know how. I don't know how people do it. it. Confuses me. I watch. I watch some of these other streamers on Adobe, and they're just going, you know, going to town with just whatever tablet, you know, making magic on the screen. And I just, I don't know how they do it. Oh, <laughs> If you look at um, if you look at Christopher uh, Lovell or Lovell, yeah. he used, does everything on a tiny, tiny little thing. Yeah, and it's amazing. And I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get it. It's cool stuff, man. I don't know. Yeah, it's it. It is magic. It's straight up magic. It's in, it's, in my it's opinion. Magic. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, you've got so Adam's got his his kind of. What we're gonna do is we, we took this base sketch and we're gonna take it two different directions. So I've also got this sketch posted on the old Twitters, and if you if you uh, want to send us anything, um, do it at Evan Eckerd, and we can bring it up on uh, on stream and look at your stuff as you know as you want us to. And, and if you have questions or how to do something or you know you see something we did and you want to know how you know you want us to, to show you how to do it again or whatnot feel free to ask at any 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 minute we're both watching the chat um, oh yeah so yeah we like to uh uh be accessible we'll answer, <laughs> the, we'll answer the weird questions yeah plenty of that <laughs> weird, and, weird and wonderful questions we'll answer yeah hey i see integris you got you bought the uh, adobe cc right on get going on that i can't i've ever since switching to cc i can't go back i can't there's no. i can't go back there's no way i use it too much um chewy send me a, a an email on something like that and and we'll see <laughs> about logos but um interest pro medium I, I don't i don't understand megan how do you use <laughs> how, how i don't i, I 
I can't do it. Uh, a portfolio. I have uh, I have some stuff on my website. Cool. Uh, am I permitted to type in the chat? We can, yeah, we can permit you. Uh, uh, one of us will do it. I remember how to do it. I see Icy Bombs here. That's another that's another cool cat to follow for you guys in the chat. Uh, follow Icy Bombs work too. Super talented artist. Uh, really cool stuff. How long you guys been designing for? Uh, I'll let Adam answer that first. Upper killer. Uh, well, the, the the quick answer is I've been drawing forever, but I did. <laughs> yeah, that's like the easy bit. Um, I started the, the, the business stuff about three years ago. Okay, yeah. And I did four years of college before that, and then school before that. Cool. So, a while. For a while. Quite a, quite a while, <laughs> yeah. Quite a while now. That's cool. Yep, I've been going, man, it, it, it's been... Uh, well, this this will kind of put it into. Um, you to put me to shame now. Yeah, what's the, what's the term? I can never think, man. My brain doesn't brain anymore. Uh, <laughs> perspective. That's what I'm looking for. There um, we go. I, I I started probably playing with design around. Um, I think Photoshop five got got released. Five. It was like five point five was one of the the major. Like upgrades, and, I'm, and that's when I really got into it. <laughs> so, oh, that. like '90s somewhere. <laughs> that's, when was, that's when I was born. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yep, I still remember like Macromedia days and whatnot. So, in oh, fact, I, I found you an did. old Macromedia disc around here somewhere. I remember using Mac the old Flash. I remember Is... using that. <laughs> oh cool. man, let's see. Did you post? Did you post up? How do I permit? Um, uh, I gotta permit. It's just uh, Adam Stokes Design. Uk. Just someone. What's your What's your username on on? Uh... We can find it here. Type in the chat real quick, so I can find it. <laughs> it's in there somewhere yeah thuggy macromedia yeah i i i was learning it, it press one if you uh, or type a one if you remember director macromedia director all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna permit you to put, do a link i wonder is it case sensitive or I don't know. We'll see if it works. Uh, are you guys fine if I do a version on your sketch? Yes, that is that is precisely why it's been posted. So we'll jump back to that. That's why we haven't really gotten started yet. We're just kind of uh, holding everything up on screen. Um, what I would like you to do is this is the sketch. Um, I will post the uh, the link again in Twitter. And this is the same sketch that I, I, I drew this up in like maybe what, a couple minutes, few minutes, just to try to get like a wolf face down. <clears throat> um, and so let me post this up in the uh, the chat again. What I would like you guys to do, and uh, this, is, this is where you guys can just go hog wild. Download the sketch, open it up in any any of your programs you got going, Illustrator, Photoshop, anything else, whatever. If you if you you know if if you don't have the the Adobe stuff and you're in like you know uh, MS Paint, I don't care. Try it. <laughs> Drop it into a program. Don't use Illustrator. Yeah. Use, use Photoshop. <laughs> and then uh, you know you can modify the sketch however you want. You can take it. You know do whatever you want to it. I don't know if you want to give them horns, if you want to like give them sunglasses, if you want to just use what's there and 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 use the same shapes and pieces and whatnot. Draw in your own shadows, your own highlights. Um, you can you can do it vector. You can use you know Photoshop, use brushes, you can paint it, do whatever you want. I don't care. Print this thing out and go over it with a sharpie for all I care. I just want to see you guys take this art and then do your style on it because that's what what adam and i are going to be doing uh tonight i'm going to take it and i'm going to turn it into a mascot logo and adam's going to take it and do 
whatever he wants to it. <laughs> well, well, well. And we're going to see where we and end up, and that's the fun of it. So uh, grab the uh, the base image, the base sketch, and then go to town. And, and, and as you guys are working on this, please post up uh, works in progress to uh, the old Twitter, at uh, Evan Eckerd. And uh, if you want to add Adam Stokes as well, he's in the original uh, tweet there. Um, so we both can see it. We'll bring him up on screen. We'll see how everything's looking, which you know, which ways things are going. We had some really cool stuff. When we've done this in the past with like, when we were more specific to like mascot logos and stuff, you guys came up with some really cool stuff. When we did the space badges, there was a lot of cool stuff that came out of that. So we're kind of taking that and and going one step further where there's the, the there's no rules except just Use this as your start <laughs> and see see what happens. So uh, I'm encouraging everybody to get involved and let's check it out and, and and see what's going on. And I can't read that green username. I think it says Davies does it say Creations? Davies Creations? Davies yeah. Creations. Yeah, asking if you if you went to college. Uh, I went to college because uni like university and college and stuff is different. In the in England, yeah, in the, I, it took me a US. while to figure that out. It finally like sunk in one day. I realized, oh it's wait, like, you guys are talking about something different. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, isn't college in the U.S. where you like you actually go and you stay there? So like sometimes, yeah. So like college, I think because your guys' college is like would be like our last two years of high school. I think is how it works, right? Uh, it's like we no. go to we go to. <laughs> To grade school up until like college is typically here college and university are typically something you start at like i don't know you might be around 17 18 19 years old if you went if you go directly from high school into college and then like up to like you know around 17 18 is probably when you're about Maybe. a senior in high school so you do like the four years of high school and then you go into college if you want yeah yeah maybe yeah for us it's you do you do primary school, so from four to eleven, right? And then do secondary school, which is eleven until now. It's eighteen because that's the the law. And then you go to college after that, and then university after that. It's it's weird. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I did college. I did one year of just art, just like base art with charcoals and painting and that rubbish. And then I did two years of uh, graphic design. <laughs> that rubbish. That rubbish. Well, yeah, I, 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 I started as a uh, just a pencil artist. I did portraits and realism stuff. That's tough. And I, I never used to do like digital or anything. It always used to be just pencil, pen, and that was it. But I haven't used a pen or pencil to paper in about five years. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy? When I try to like yeah, write sucks. out a check, I like my hand hurts. I can't even. <laughs> oh god! Did you see my handwriting? It's gotten terrible. Did I still try to like, do sketches and whatnot, but you know, in a in a sketch pad. But even then, I've noticed over the years, like I don't know, you're 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 if you, if you stop doing it, your fingers just don't work that way anymore. You know, <laughs> even even with a tablet, it feels different. You know, rather you than get how to hand. Yeah. <laughs> And you have to get used to drawing with your arm, not your wrist. Right. On a on a screen, you have to like use your elbow and kind of. But with the pencil, you do it with all your wrist. Yep, yep. If you do that on the the, the Cintiqs and stuff, your lines just go wiggly. And they don't really <laughs> look very good. That's that's weird to get used to. I think that's the hardest part. High school is. 16 okay so you guys graduate like high school at 16 right that's when you guys are out of high school uh somewhere yeah. around there sounds, sounds about right yeah 16 17 okay cool yeah because they uh they upped it to 18 like the year i left they have high school to 18 yeah yeah they they upped it uh but i just missed so i didn't have to stay there I got out. I escaped. Well, what what does that what does that do with the university? Did, did that just like add add two years for everybody? Yeah, I think yeah, I think it just it just adds two years. It's just so you guys the, you guys sound more like it's kind of more like what we're what our schedule's like. It's probably similar, yeah. 
It's probably yeah, it's probably similar. I think they just want people to stay in school more. Ah. They just want it to, to last longer. Gotcha. So that when people come out, they're not like you kind of not able to get work course. I don't, I don't know. They they England's weird. <laughs> We're just, we're just weird. We just, we just don't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, we're on the same boat. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Everything's just got mad. Oh man, what's up? I see he fixes here. I've been watching you. He fix on or he fix. I'm gonna butcher your name. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I have to apologize for that every single stream because I will butcher names. That's, that's my job. I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been watching you on Twitter, bud. So, I've been checking out your stuff. Uh, Craig Brave. was wondering, Adam, if, if you do, do you do all your stippling by hand, or do you use like a, a, a brush or a plug-in, or what, uh, I, what's your... Yeah, I, um, I I create brushes. I use brushes. Yeah, I don't do it manually. I think I'd, I'd probably be there next year, just, just tapping away. No, I, do, <laughs> I, just, I know some people do it all with just, with just shit and do this. Well, we used to. All day. I mean, we used to do that and in we school. Pens. Yeah, but it and was... We pens. Yeah. yeah, it'd take days, weeks. Weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I use... Um, I, I, I always use brushes. I use custom brushes. Because they're, they're quick to make, and you can just cheat. <laughs> just, just draw a line. Hundreds of dots. Bam. Uh... Call this one drag my swatches in call it wolf colors wolf colors wolf colors and i've chosen purple which doesn't make a lot of sense but whatever <laughs> what's up it's a, it's a logo <laughs> i might steal the uh the color see if i can do something with the oh you want to you want to try to use the, the same swatches yeah see if That'd i can fun. see if i can make it work with the same colors we can at least yeah we'll start out so i, I want to do like so i'm going to do a, a more of a mascot type thing so i'm gonna go ahead and that's a good idea i'll drag out some colors i had in mind and then oh. i'll send you oh uh, you know what we should have hooked up a uh a library beforehand i have no idea how that works oh man it it makes workflow so much easier like Travis and I were just you can you can send each other documents, yeah. files, everything, shapes, uh, without you having to it. open anything. You just like yeah. oh, Photoshop, boom, there you go, it's yours. And it, I it's, saw you do it, and I was just like, that does look quite helpful. Oh, it, I, it, have, I have no idea. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, dude. Once you once you like, there was some case where I, you know, it took it did take a little bit of warning, warning, learning for before I figured out where everything was going. Um, especially when you're going from like the, the Adobe apps on your phone into desktop, like that, that was like, I had a couple of head scratchers there, but once I figured out what I was doing, I was like, Oh, this is so much easier. Um, but yeah, it's, it makes all the difference. I wonder, you know what? I wonder if I can just make, are you signed into the cloud right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh probably not. Let's see. Let me see. Go away. Go away. No I'm trying to remember how to share it. Um, you have to go to collaborate. I wouldn't um, even know what I'm... So this this would have been good for me to learn like a while ago. Yeah, I think for now I'll send you hex codes. <laughs> but now I'm seeing well, how I'll to do gonna... it. I gotta add you by email address and all that stuff. Um, I'll just take a screenshot of the stream. Just go as the stream and they'll just color pick them. What I'll do? That's quicker. Then you don't have to worry about it too much. I'll copy it and I'll just post it straight to Twitter in case anybody else wants to use it too. Critic says, how are you streaming to location? Uh, to one stream. That's with a, a, a lot of trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> so we used uh, we used a couple different programs. It it was, uh, 
Let me save this out real quick, make sure I'm not losing it. Um, okay, these are the colors I'm gonna start with, by the way, whether or not, like, they'll probably change slightly as I go along, but um, if you guys want them, I will post that in the chat as well. You guys can grab those. Um, yeah, so oh. we use we use a couple of programs we're using, of course, um, like Skype. We also use another one called Zoom, um, so we can grab some different sources. There's probably other ways to do it, but that was the way that we figured out to get it to work. And uh, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, if it does break, though, we'll have to fix it down the road. But yeah, that's what we're what we're kind of doing. Um, if you want, if you want like more info, uh, critic, uh, send me a DM and we'll, uh, I can tell you exactly what, what we're doing. Um, and so far no smoke is coming out of the computer. So I guess we're good. <laughs> it's just Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> Upper That's killer. Nice. What tips could you give me? I am just starting to get into designing. Um, I'll go first. I would say like sketch, sketch all the time and, and sketch like, when when I, I when I was first getting involved, when I heard people say sketch, I always thought like, okay, so sketch like stuff I see, right? Sketch, you know, to to um, you know, like maybe animals or trees or bushes or whatever, you know. I always my brain always went to like, okay, I guess they mean like sketch, you know, just stuff around me. Yeah. Um, but then later, you know, I realized sketching covers everything you know sketch like um it doesn't have to be like still life stuff so like sketch like layouts you might come across that you like like block you know even like like wireframe is considered sketching so whenever like to, to get started in design you know like sketching goes hand in hand with with it all the time just always be be writing down ideas and that's that's to me like one of the 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 first most impart, in, in, important things to, to do when you're getting into design is just sketch every idea that comes across your mind. Keep a sketchbook, and then you know from there you can start learning like you know getting into figuring out color theory and throwing stuff up on screen and you know playing with type and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, sketch sketching is probably like my go-to. I don't know. How about you, Adam? Yeah. Uh, I I'd agree. Uh... I'd agree with that a lot. I think uh, I'd say don't try and create like masterpieces like straight away. Oh yeah, good point. Like, like if you're doing it on paper, if you're doing it digitally, or don't ex don't go in and be mad at yourself if you can't create like a like a like an Evan Eckard like straight away. <laughs> like, it's, I think it's more it's, it is more important to get the the fundamentals of like shape and all this sort of stuff down first yeah before, before you try and make these amazing elaborate things because there's there's a ton of trial and error it's just nature of yeah. the beast so don't that yeah that that that's another good point don't get frustrated it's it yep you know it'll it'll happen and and that that goes I, I get asked a lot about style like how do you find a style and that's kind of the same thing it's just as you like trial and error you'll find something that just starts to stick yeah and it may not it's not right away it never is you know you might see um you know over time you'll see styles kind of evolve and take shape from what you're working on um and then of course over time you'll see it change so it's just it's just something that that naturally happens and uh, a lot of people, you know, there's there's mimicking other people's styles. Uh, you know, you get mixed responses on that as well. But I, I I truly think you know to to learn how to do stuff. Like when I was when I was first starting out, I saw a lot of stuff that I was trying to do. You know, similar stuff. Even like these mascot logos, right? I'm not the first person to make mascot logos by any means. And so, like I would try to mimic a lot of other, you know. Uh, uh, logos i came across or not 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 like try to remake them but just just try to like okay now you know break it down what's what's making it work you know what what you know how would how would i go about this <clears throat> but to learn you know you'll find yourself doing stuff like that too and then you'll see styles you'll see your own kind of style and approach you know grow out of that and then you'll know like oh, okay you know this feels more comfortable to me or this you know, taking doing it this direction feels you know it, it 
it's more my comfort zone or, or, or you know it's starting to feel like me rather than you know something yeah. else so it's it's all <clears throat> you know just keep keep motoring with it and and it'll take shape it does oh yeah because i mean as i say i i used to do portraits and and realistic stuff yeah but as soon as i found as soon as i went to college and like the digital stuff started coming in it you do you find stuff you like you find artists you think do it well and you you end up just kind of it's something you stumble into more than anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just it just kind of you end up drawing in the same way, and then eventually you'll get to a point where people will look at you and be like, "Oh, that's 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 this guy." Right. Because <laughs> I remember for the longest time I used to, I never used to draw in my own way. I always just kind of used to mimic other people. Yeah. And uh, I never knew, like at college. I never knew <coughs> how to draw things because I just was so used to just copying everybody else. <clears throat> yep, yep. And I had to really like sit down and be like, okay, let's uh, let's figure figure this out. And then it wasn't until I got the Cintiq where I was just like, okay, stippling, cross hatching, <laughs> and all this sort of stuff. And it yeah. just kind of <coughs> came from nowhere, really. <clears throat> Sphinx, is a Cintiq 24 HD any good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, anything that it's that my that, baby. <clears throat> honestly, anything Waka makes is good. <laughs> yep, I'd agree with that. But you'll get if you like to if you like to draw, um, you will get a ton of use out of out of that one. That's for sure. Can't argue. Can't argue. And the speed there. is the thing. The speed of how. I think that's the thing I I realized most. Just I could do everything so quickly. Yeah. Because it used to take me hours to do thumbnails with a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> hours. Yeah. No, I used to do it when you like trace all your line work with the mouse and keyboard. Yeah. <clears throat> it used to be you sketch with a mouse. So you have. Oh, to... you actually you sketched with the mouse. Oh, I had to. I I had to. There was I had no. I didn't have a scanner. Uh, you didn't have a camera? Nope. Not a, <laughs> not, a, not a decent one. Like, I was really like. That's that. Okay. That low budget. I have a whole new newfound respect for you, dude. <laughs> a PC that was just terrible. Like it didn't. It wasn't fast. It had like three gigs of RAM. Just awful. Every time you drew a line, you had to wait five minutes for the line to catch up. <laughs> Shut up. So bad, but oh, as soon I as you get one of these things, the mouse. I'd pull all my hair out. I'd, oh, I'd lose oh, it. Oh, I couldn't it, do it. it happens. <laughs> it, it happens pretty quickly. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, oh, and that's also another good point is that on my screen, I'm working with mouse and keyboard, and on Adam's screen, he's working on a tablet. So if you, if, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's doable. So I, I don't know. I feel more comfortable at the moment with a t with a mouse and keyboard in Illustrator, and then I feel it, uh. it depends on what. Um, it also depends on what the project is. So like web design stuff, I'll work in Photoshop with the mouse and keyboard. All right. I don't really. I don't know. I, I've never gotten comfortable with a tablet for that. But but drawing, you know, in either program, um, a tablet is a lot of fun it does it does yeah uh, it does make a lot of sense the uh i want to that's another thing i've been meaning to to do here though is to get back into drawing in illustrator because with the tablet and, and using like the blob brush and the the brushes in there better you than me it's pretty cool once you once you once you do it i did it once and then uh, no like, no no it's not yeah <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You can do it. Oh, I, I, I know how to use it. Oh, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, how hard is it to learn the ins and outs of Illustrator with a mouse? Asks Noah. That's, oh, that's for you. All. That's all yeah. you. 
Yeah, ins and outs of Illustrator. I mean, to be honest, you'll you'll probably want to just dig into it with a mouse first, unless you're unless you're trying to use it to uh, just to draw. Um, well, I say just to draw, but you know, to, to jump in and just do and 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 do artwork. Uh, you know, in a more drawn, painted fashion, but um, the the I mean, like I said before, I I still primarily use a mouse and keyboard in Illustrator. I don't I don't use a tablet all that often. Um, tablets I use more with the, uh, the the raster stuff. So anything that's that that has pixels rather than uh, vector. But I plan to to like slowly change that. <laughs> Because there are uh, brush tools and whatnot, and, and Illustrator will see like, you know, it'll see like pin pressure and stuff. So um, it does it does all the same. Uh, as far as a tablet and stylus, it, it handles the same. It's just uh, different. You know, the the tools are slightly different. Uh, but for like this, I'm using the pen tool, and this is just click and you know click and drag, make make paths and curves, um, and just you know. Just do it up. Uh, Upper Killer says, "Yeah, one problem I have is coming up with ideas. I spend more time procrastinating than actually doing it." You're not alone. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's everybody goes through that. I'd say, um, I think the one of the best ways to get rid of that is to just do, do anything. Like if you're sitting with a blank piece of paper, yeah, you'll 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 stare at it forever because you expect to to fill it with this like amazing elaborate thing, <laughs> right? Which is why you kind of naturally go, oh, crap. Where do I start? Like, you, <laughs> you, you don't know where to start. But the easy, it's just literally just to to just do it, just start, just scribble randomly. Like the, the, as long as you're filling it with something other than the blank piece of paper that's sat in front of you, you're fine. Right. And it will turn into something. Eventually, you'll just, you'll just fill it with anything and everything. Like, like whatever ever does with donuts and, and skulls <laughs> and all this just crazy stuff. That's that's actually Adam's right. That's precisely. Because one of the one of the things that I that I wanted to do was I, I love patterns. I'm addicted to patterns, and so um, for the longest uh, part, uh, I, I wanted to do like um, what do you call it? Like uh, like the illustrated pattern patterns. Um, I cannot talk today, dude. I keep stumbling over all my words. And it, <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Um, let me show you one of the the, the patterns I did and kind of give you an idea. Um, and this actually might be. This, if you if you're running into into a block, this might be a cool way to get past it too. So I, I was, um, we actually did a lot of this on one of the Adobe streams like months ago, uh, where where we were just making, um, I forget what we were making. We were making like, uh, uh, it was something like this, but it was more organized. You know, there was, everything was kind of more more in a grid. Um, yeah. But it was it was the Pontiac Strange stuff, and so. I took oh, I a bunch that. of that stuff and then I tried to, you know, I turned it into a pattern. Um, but I remember when we were working on this on the stream, there was, uh, you know, I had a bunch of empty spaces to fill and I had no idea what to put in there. So I was just kind of like drawing whatever came to my mind. So we ended up with, you know, a bunch of random just stuff. And, and doing this in a sketch pad is also a lot of fun. You can, uh, I think I still, man, do I still have it? Uh, I had a page. in an older sketchbook but this this i found kind of by accident is a great way to get over a creative block if you're running into it uh because then then you're like you you have you know you have your your sketch pad and you're instead of trying to make one big masterpiece uh you you just kind of you know you just kind Collage. of brained up all this just little stuff everywhere and 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 maybe one of those little things will turn into something greater you know you can take it and expand on it later uh, man where is that page i know i i i had a page where i sketched all this oh, i remember on sketchbooks um, that, was a, that, was, that was a while ago what's that 
I remember having sketchbooks. That was a, that was a while ago. Yeah, I, I gotta have them. I still I feel I feel weird if I don't have one sitting close to me. <laughs> uh, I used to. I I always used to throw everything away. What like, like all your like, sketches and whatnot? And any anything ah, like here it is. even even like finished stuff. I always used to just be like, nah, it's rubbish. And I used to just throw it away. <laughs> but I I never kept any of it because I hated it all. Uh, I can't turn this around. So yeah, so I just had like this this paper full of just stuff, right? And that's where that's that's where I thought, you know, I like donuts. I'm gonna draw a donut, and so I drew a donut. You know, <laughs> and I like skateboards. So I drew a skateboard. You know, I drew, and then I turned it into I'm more nervous. of a like an icon rather than trying to actually make it real. Um, but I, I, like I was saying, I found kind of roundabout that um, this was a good way to get over creative block if you just if you just got to get you know got to get going again so yeah um it helped uh before i used to like draw like circle shapes and and um i did like uh oh kind of like ui well not ui but like like sci-fi ui stuff was fun and i don't know just kind of a change of pace mcgowan likes donuts sphinx likes bagels that's fine by me everybody <laughs> likes donuts oh bagels oh oh bagels uh, no bagels. Don't do this to me. You Don't put, do this to me. Oh, you get, you get, you slice one and a half, cook up an egg, throw it on there. Um, I think about buying a tablet and a pen. <laughs> there is no way I can afford a walk on any kind. I think about getting a seventy dollar. Uh, there I go, stumbling over words again. Huan tablet. Are the Huans any good? I've seen. Um, who? Oh man. When I'm on the spot, my brain goes blank. There's an artist. It's hard. <laughs> Oh, he sells a bunch of brushes, um, but I, I remember he does reviews on all those tablets, and I remember him saying that a Huon was what he, he he it was good. He did um, he liked it. Uh, what is his name? <laughs> oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. All right, I will find it and I will post it somewhere <laughs> once I remember his name. Friendin, Josh has it. Yep. Frendon. Frendon has a. Uh, uh, he re Josh, he reviewed like a few of them, right? E Shirt Lab, yep, you got it. Um, Frendon does some really cool artwork too, so check out his stuff. Uh, but yeah, he's got. I think he reviewed like the Surface Pros and all those other I've tablets heard that. About the yeah, surface. and and he's got. I guess probably by now he's got a bunch of good reviews. I mean, I mean at the time, this was a while ago when I looked. He had a. Um, a few up there and you know and he's a, he's an illustrator so he was given like straight up you know what he thought of him and I remember specifically there, there was at least one hue on that that he liked that it, it worked well um, I mean hey I, I, I didn't pay for my Cintiq so <laughs> I can't really say I scripted and saved for for a long time. I got mine bought for me by a, by a rather lovely, lovely gentleman. <laughs> Adam got the hookup. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I did, yeah. Uh, to this day, I'm still like, I'm surprised by it. Man, so I, I, I wasn't sure um, I'm opening... I got. I went ahead and after I did my sketch, I dropped in. This is how I knew what what colors I wanted to try. I, I went ahead and, and dropped in some quick colors. So, this is kind of what we're headed towards. This is like uh, blowing out the sketch, so I have more of like a roadmap before I even get into a vector program. So, <clears throat> my cheat hey. sheet. Um, Somebody was saying about picking up a get an older model model of a Wacom Intuos for that much. You know, look on like Craigslist and like eBay and stuff. Just keep your eyes open. I had already gone through a bunch of tablets that didn't have screens and couldn't get used to it, and so I was very hesitant to try out a Cintiq at the time. Um, but I yeah. found um, I found a buddy online that was selling his old one used, and it was an Ooh, opportunity nice. to get it. You know much much cheaper yeah and try it and i oh, fell in love cool. with it and so i bought i bought myself uh you know a, a bigger one 
Uh, ones sure have driver been, errors. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully they fix that. <laughs> What's up, Colum? Uh, have you heard of Magic... Magic... Uh, magic of Voxel? Ma magic? No. What is that? No, I've never... What? Is that an artist? Is that a game? Is that... Is that a type of bagel? <laughs> Is it like a, like a style? Like a... <laughs> Maybe it's a magic donut. <laughs> it's, a, it's a magic donut. Uh, I'm going to check Twitter real quick and see if, if we got any works in progress yet. Well, I'm pretty sure Josh is just going to come in and slam us both. Josh will kill it if, yeah, he did that last time. Um... Let's see. The, uh, the, the, yeah, for those that are like super late, um, this will be on a VOD. Um, and you can you can watch it later if need be. Um, all right. Let me back to everything. Oh yeah, Josh, if you're in here and you're instead of instead of doing this, you could finish that that. That, that that collab thing we did like like five months ago. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, why is this okay? I did it. <clears throat> yeah, Josh. <laughs> yeah, calling you out now. <clears throat> That's been sitting there for how long? We've been waiting on Josh for how long now? Long time. Yeah. Long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen Josh's emblems that even he, that he's been painting up recently? Yeah. I uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I I I can't do color like that. It's so good. He's got a knack for painting like metal. Yeah. That is just. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. He just does color better than I will ever do color. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I stick with like four. I stick with four colors. <laughs> That's another style thing. That's your style. That's just, yeah, it's just because I'm bad. I, I hide, hide the mistakes with with less color. <laughs> <laughs> just, just cheating, but I'm not supposed to sell anyone. I'm finding I, I like to keep color palettes down as well since I've been spending a lot of time and stuff that needs to be screen printed. Yeah, that's what that's what did it for me, I think. Yeah. Because it's too expensive otherwise. And I, just, I think I think well, I, I just quite like too. it. I quite like it. Quite like limited color. And I like seeing if you can make it look like it's got more than what's actually in it. Like yeah. if you're only using four colors, trying to make it look like it has like six or or like ten or see see if you can do it. Challenge yourself. Yeah, because I I see people that use three colors, and I I I don't get it. Because I swear there's like fifty. <laughs> you look at it. It's like, it's like what? Uh, I don't get it. Magic. <laughs> it's, it's pure magic. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with like half tones and dithers and yeah, um, half tones. I I I had to like teach myself how to do half tones. Yeah, half tones can get tricky. But even like like it's fun to like. In, in Illustrator or Photoshop, have you ever played around with just like making your own patterns and and fills and you know stuff no, like that? No, I haven't actually. I should I I should probably make like a bunch of patterns. I think I did like one project on patterns and stuff in college, and that was about it. But there's no there's no way I could do what you do because the way you do them is just. <sighs> Yeah, you're making me blush, dude. <laughs> oh, that's my job. That's why I'm here. Like, that's why, that's why I agreed to come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build you up. 
give me a hard time. <laughs> oh no, I'm here to make you look good. What's up, Blake? The new name. New name, what's up? Who's got a new name? Oh yeah, Daniel noticed your splash brush, dude. Yeah, um, I love I love my I love my brush, my stipple brush. <clears throat> it is just a bunch of dots. That's all it is. <laughs> just, just chaos, just a bunch of dots. Uh, see, you, I mean, it's crazy to watch. You know, we 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 both started with that base sketch, you know, and, and it already looks. Yeah, completely is icy bomb still in her? Is oh. Uh, I see. Are you working yeah. on this? Oh man! Okay, is it? Oh man! Are we yeah, are, are we going to be embarrassed? This is cool. Nah, you see what he's doing, dude. Uh, you'll see it up on the stream here in a sec. He was he, work in progress on Twitter. Mm hmm. <laughs> nice, bud. <clears throat> yeah. So if. Uh, <laughs> maybe i don't know would you want to show off how, you, how uh, some of your brushes here in a bit adam uh Let sure some secrets oh my, my juicy secrets <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> yeah i could, show, I, could uh, I could show you how to how i made my stipple brush The best, I think, the best brush I made is my chain brush, though. Sir, oh wait, you're telling me about that. I, I want to see that. Oh, okay, right. I, I was. This took me so long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I could say it took me like ten minutes. It didn't. It took me ages, <laughs> and it really shouldn't have done. So, I have a chain brush, and the brush is just a link. It's just one single link. But when you draw, it makes a continuous chain. Because it's been... <laughs> that, man, that's too cool. <laughs> uh... Like, it's not perfect, because some of them, it kind of clips in a bit. But I, I made it, and the only reason I made this is because I was doing a, a piece that had chains in it, and I didn't want to just draw each link. Right. It takes forever. <laughs> so, so I just so instead of spending like an hour drawing the chain links, I spent like three making a chain brush. That's pretty cool. See, you gotta... Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't expect it to take that long. You, you, I, I always forget just like how powerful that stuff is. Like how how you can like you can make brushes like that. Like oh, there's there's. It's it's crazy. It's just crazy. Oh it, yeah, it's, you can do that. You can do that in Illustrator too. It's pretty cool, uh, you know, doing stuff like like that and uh, aligning it to shapes and whatnot. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I'd I'd have I'd be lost in Illustrator for days if I tried to do that in Illustrator. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll try to do one after after I do the mascot. I'll I'll put like a maybe we'll do a border that's like a chain or something around him. See how that turns out. Yeah, you can, you can, you can teach me some of the ways. <laughs> I, have, I have like a, a, a bunch of really weird brushes, I think. Like, most of them are very like grunge, very. Yep, yep. Uh, mm -mm. A lot of them are paint splatters and textures and my stipple brush. It's my favorite. I use it every time. And then I just have a bunch of, bunch of splatters. Uh, I have some. That's pretty pretty much what I use. I've got some basic stippling stuff, like lines. Mm -hmm. I quite I quite like I like cross hatching a lot. I like the old style, like uh, the wood carvings. Like they they used to. I can never remember the name of it myself because I can never actually find it. But they used to carve wood and uh, ink press. And this is like, like, say like mid. This was way before any of this was a thing. <laughs> like really old. Did you ever, did you ever, um, uh, oh, Sphinx, where can we get the sketch? Let me post that in again. Um, did you ever uh, look at old, like, like uh, woodcut, like 
Um, I mean, the, the most famous one is like Albrecht Durer. I'm going to pretend I know how to spell that. Uh, can... Let me... I'm probably saying the name wrong. That was... Uh... Yeah, that's the stuff I, that's the stuff I was... Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he did a, a rhino uh, wood carving. When was that? Like the 1500s? Doesn't it have like loads of patterns and it looks like it's got armor on and stuff? Yeah. So this yeah. this is woodcut. Um, yeah, this is the stuff. Yeah. I love it. I, yeah, I love I, it. For years, I had this printed out on a on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, and it just hung over my bed because it was one of like so inspired by by that, and and yeah, couldn't I believe that it was done that long ago. <laughs> Yeah, all the, uh, oh, that's, the that's the kind of style that all my tattoos are going to be in. Yes. I, just, I love it. I think it looks great. So this is... Uh... Adam Hate Illustrator. Yes, I do hate Illustrator. Spy. <laughs> I, yes, I despise it. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> so he did this on, uh, this was carved. And then it's a, it's a print, right? I'm trying to remember if I that's, so. if all were like that. Um... Carved in wood, and then essentially I a giant so, yeah. stamp. Yep, pretty much. So and they're amazing. Yeah, there's another they're guy. So detailed. Yeah. <laughs> there's another guy I follow on Instagram called uh, Noosh. Uh, let's see if I can find him. He does like, uh, yeah, Noosh Studios. He does carving. Um. Kind of similar. I had an art teacher that he studied. He studied woodcut carving in Tibet for a couple of years. Um, yeah, this guy New Studios does uh, does woodcut. So yeah, it'd be cool to make. I wonder how you would make a brush that kind of. Oh, that's cool. Mimics that. Uh, I think like. I think it would be really difficult just because it, it it does depend on, like, you can't just generate stuff like that. It's so personal and yeah, yep. how it works. It'd be so hard to just, like, kind of just generate that kind of style. I think I tried it, like, twice. And, like, <laughs> and I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't cheat and generate it. I had to do it all myself. <laughs> Oh, I, I forgot yeah. to post the sketch again. Let me do that. Sorry, guys. There's a sketch. <clears throat> um, I'm going to try and go along with this. Never tried using someone else's sketch. It's fun, Mist. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, he uh, he fixed. I did. You uh, you mean like uh, so voxel art? I looked him up, um, and this is like the the three quarter view type stuff, right? It's really cool. So he did, does he use like like what what do people use for three D uh, for this type of stuff? It's uh, I can't remember it. You can tell how how much three D stuff I I do. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah. We we we're, we're pros. I I know I mentioned it on a stream that. This, the the programs I remember using are, um, it was called Lightwave, and and then the uh, the Alpha to Maya came out. And I tried that and I got instantly frustrated and discouraged and never went back. My yeah, brain I've just does not Maya. work in 3D. <laughs> I've I've tried my hand at animation and all that sort of stuff. I just don't have the patience. Just makes I just do not have the patience. I wonder. I wonder if it's gotten any easier. <laughs> it probably has. I need to. Oh yeah, I'll probably. Go back and check at some point. I think as soon as it doesn't look amazing, I'm just like, nope. <laughs> I'm done. All right. <laughs> yeah, I give up. I can't do this. I remember it was 
it was the, the big the big thing on Maya at the time was you could you could put in like custom scripts and things to like uh, like you could code in movement and stuff and at that point it was just over my oh, head okay. I just, game over game my brain over. just yep. shut off <laughs> yeah that wouldn't end well and then years and then and then but then I got into web coding which doesn't make a lot of sense I, I don't know I guess you're just you're just broken I just my my yeah head's just busted <laughs> <laughs> you just don't work properly <laughs> So while we're working on this stuff, feel free to ask questions or whatnot, and just if there's something you want to watch, you want to see us do again, or, or how we did something, or whatever. Uh, you guys know the drill. <laughs> ask away. And send in works in progress. I want to see. Oh, isometric. Yeah, that's it. It's a program. It's called. Oh, the program's called Mat Magic Magic of Voxel. Uh, the brush. Uh, I'm doing all the, the line work with. The stippling is done with a special brush. But everything mm. else is just done with a normal, like, preset brush. I have no weird shit. It's just a round brush. That's it. It's just one of the defaults that came with it. Good old round brush. Yep. Can't go wrong with a good old round brush. I... I... I found that weird in digital painting as well when I when I tried to do it for a little bit and picked up a couple books about it I figured for sure people were making their own custom brushes and whatnot to do you know like realistic uh, paintings and such yeah and it was like an eye-opener when a, a lot of them just said we just use a round brush like it's just a basic round brush like it's not yeah, which in some so cases there. they use special brushes, but for the most part it was just just the round brush, and they have just different pressure settings and whatnot. So. Yeah, good luck, good luck being this good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it it gave me like a sense of encouragement, like oh, I don't have to go like try to make all these brushes. I can Fancy just brushes. yeah, I can I can it, it's already there. You know, I just need to play with the settings a little bit. And oh, I had to, I had to, yeah. Play, play with how hard it is to when it registers. Yeah, I had to. I played around with that a lot. I was there for hours just because I wanted it to be like perfect. Because because I'm insane. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I want to put some highlights in real quick. I'm gonna merge all this stuff before I lose it. One. I'm looking at yours on the on the stream. Like there's a delay, and yeah. it's and it looks more complete than mine. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so far behind. <laughs> no, I mean this 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 kind of route I'm taking is is a little bit quicker, right? It's kind of you know I'm just using big shapes. Cheated. So yeah, I cheated. <laughs> Oh, you didn't tell me we were cheating, otherwise I'd have done that already. <laughs> but I haven't, you know, I'm going to do highlights and stuff, then I want to play around with... That, that chain brush you showed, I want to play around with that and see if I can... Oh, I've, I've sparked your, your curiosity, have I? <laughs> uh, so, another cool thing, if you're watching the Illustrator side, is... Um, uh, I've noticed when I want to take a color and say make shadows, like make the a darker color. I'll, I've been switching over the color palette to HSB, um, which seems to come in handy because then I can just take a swatch of the color I already have, and if I just want like a darker version of it, like let me draw a box. Um, if I just want a darker version of it, I can just pull down the brightness slider in Illustrator and just find you know, where I want to drop that at. And then, uh, instead of trying to do it in, in the other uh, color palettes, it can be a little bit more difficult trying to just do something like that. <clears throat> so, qu quick tip. So now I can do my shadows. 
think I think uh, I'll have to I'll Are have you... to go back to Illustrator and try. It's I'll a lot try. of fun. <clears throat> don't yeah. don't blame me when I come running to you to, and have a go at you for making me do it though. Dude, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Did you die? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's up, Anya? That program he fixed or Hefix? You got it. You, you got to tell me what. How am I supposed to say it? Is it Hefix or Hefix? You gotta like. Hefix probably. Yeah. I think Hefix. <clears throat> Either way, that sounds. Yeah, I bad. feel bad. I always feel bad on like just destroying usernames. It's the embarrassment afterwards. Just... Yeah, I feel. Yeah. yeah. After the stream, I have to go cry. <laughs> oh, no. I think I'm an idiot. Did it again. I tried my hardest. I did it again. I'm a failure. <laughs> oh, man. So what's your week been like, dude? Lot pretty busy. Uh, well, it wasn't busy at the beginning, and then, and then everyone just came at once. It was just like, oh, <laughs> don't you love that? She flooded. Just yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've been uh, loads of thumbnails. Most of it is thumbnails. Like 90, 99 percent, I'd say, is thumbnails. Ninety-nine percent. I'm not playing though. Ninety-nine percent. Is yeah. that one percent? today <laughs> yeah you know what it is uh, I, was I was trying to make it sound like i had more work than i actually do <laughs> thanks evan throwing me under the bus <laughs> come on I'm trying to sound professional <laughs> jesus uh, so okay so it's it's hefix right yeah, Hefix. Icy Bomb gets called Easy Bomb. <laughs> oh, Easy Bomb sounds so good, though. <laughs> See, with that one, it, 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 hey, either way, is, you know, that works. <laughs> either, way, it's cool, either way, it's a cool name. my dog losing it we finally we we, we got a, a family dog again and he's been ruined he's been spoiled rotten that's what you do when you get a dog yeah totally you have ruined. to you have, you have to spoil <laughs> it. uh my cats love him let me tell you <laughs> is it just a, a really soppy soppy dog what's that is it just a really soppy dog what do you mean? Just loves loves everything. Just... No, no, he he wants to he wants to play with them, and they're like, no, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no, nah, we don't like to get you you bite when you play. We don't like that. <laughs> oh, he's he's a puppy. He's uh oh man, how old is he? Probably. I should know this. Um... I like teeth. Six months, maybe six months. Oh, it's only a proper, proper pup then. Yeah, oh yeah. So he's, you know, he's still in puppy mode. Wants to, wants to play with everything, and and the cat's like, no, 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 nah. You, you, your version of playing, you know, draws blood. We don't, we don't like that. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. So he's he's been getting like whacked in the face a lot by the cats, which I find pretty humorous. Oh, when a cat like, oh yeah. yeah, they won't like claw him. It's They'll pretty... just like slap him real hard, and and it's oh, it's brutal though. It's, it's just it's it's just too funny. You're <laughs> <laughs> laughing at your poor dog. And he's, and he's like, okay, well, I, you know, he's learning that you don't do that. <laughs> Learning the hard way, you know. <laughs> Damn, you're ruthless. <laughs> uh, the, 
one thing I don't. The one thing I don't like about do you know when you like flip the image because you don't want to draw hot like both halves because right. because you're lazy or you're trying to cheat to to catch up with the other person that's streaming. Oh, you don't have to catch up, dude. I, I uh, the teeth always make me mad. The teeth. I didn't even sketch those right. I'll be honest. Why can't I get this flipped the right, the right way I wanted to? Um, because you always end up with one tooth right in the middle. <laughs> that's not. That's not where teeth go. <laughs> that's where they go when I draw them. <laughs> yeah, every time I flip it, it just looks weird. <laughs> so I'm I'm I'm, re, I'm redrawing the teeth. That's why it's called a sketch. It's oh, I I go I go back and sketch. <laughs> even once even once I've started, sketch don't it mean, helps though. Was that? It helps though. Like if you don't be afraid to just throw in another layer and yeah, scribble over it. Change exactly. It. Draw on top of it. Let's see. Slowly getting some shadows in this guy. I feel like the purple I might have sent you might be like. I think I, I need to go a little bit darker, so I'm going to do a darker, slightly darker version. There we go. And I'll save that. Maybe I can use the light purple elsewhere. So, easy bomb! <laughs> easy. Easy bomb. Like, easy rider. Easy bomb is a great name, though. <laughs> <laughs> one tooth in the middle like Tom Cruise. What, has he got one Ooh. tooth in the middle? <laughs> Ooh. Claws coming out. <laughs> he does, though. Yeah. Don't let him nip you. <laughs> I'm going to lock this background layer so I don't grab it and move it everywhere by accident. Pin tool is your best friend in Illustrator. The pen tool the pen in tool, Photoshop yeah. caused me so much pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if we got any works in progress yet. Yeah, I was just about to ask. Not seeing any. If you got them, send them to... Uh, let me post it in the chat again. Go to zealtwitters.com. good thing about being forced to use the pen tool though is that I am a master of the pen tool in Photoshop now. It is my best friend in Photoshop now. What's your best friend? The, the pen tool. For yeah. being forced to use it because <laughs> I didn't have some teeth. It's now my, it, it bends to my will. <laughs> Not the other way around anymore. Oh, Vinit, yeah, or, or uh, Hefix, yeah. I was I was talking to John just recently, and it, yeah, our, our calls, uh, yeah, the calls just they they go kind of sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what we were talking about. We were talking about uh, oh, he actually showed me something cool. So there was a um. Uh, out here in the uh, towards the Los Angeles area, there's going to be a show, an art show, um, where it's all based on. Uh, I think it's like two or three artists, and they're 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 doing artwork based on like sketches that their kids did. Oh, kind of like uh, your sticker thing. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's what John's doing right now too, uh, as well. He's doing a. Um, uh, uh, sticker project with his kids um, but yeah there's an artist or a couple artists that are having a show I'll have to look it up I forget where um, those were really cool by the way they're a blast a lot of fun they did look like a lot of fun to do 
They came out really good though. I want to try and do one on the on, on the stream here. Um, see if I can talk one of my kids into jumping on. Just draw some crazy stuff. That would be that actually be a good situation to use. Um, man, I got to split this in half again. Uh, to use like the the blob brush and the those tools in, in Illustrator that actually because we could just draw them right in there it would be cool. It'd be a fun way to bring it into the to the stream. Yeah, they sound different. Like those were really cool. Super weird. Really <laughs> cool. That's the point. <laughs> like really weird. It's a blast though. And if I'm saying they're weird, you you know you've done something right. <laughs> I'll have to dig some of those up. We did... Uh, I don't know which one like was, was kind of the craziest. We had... I remember the donut guy. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Um, I don't remember where I saved those. Probably in a folder called stickers, I would assume. No, that's too logical. Oh, yeah, here we go. Found it. Okay, so we did... Yeah, we did the donut guy. So one of my sons, he sketched... Uh, oh, why can't I zoom out? We did that one for fun. I don't like this window viewer. I can't hide this stuff. I'm trying to f remember where the where their sketch was though. Mm, it might be buried in the. Blake says he sent a working progress. Oh, I can't find it. Um, yeah, but they did like we, I just set the the tablet out and let them draw, you know, whatever, and then we turned it into then then go and, and illustrate over it and try to turn it into a sticker. And they're pretty cool. There's one still stuck to my car, so they've held up. <laughs> oh, those were yeah, they were they were they were sweet. If anyone hasn't seen them, you should definitely go and look. Is there any way I can filter Twitter to see the stuff that's coming to you? Is there any way to do that? What's that? Does anybody know? Can I filter anything on Twitter so that I can see the stuff that people are tweeting at you? Uh, not, not. There isn't a super easy way to do it. Um, let me show this one though. This one's Critic. Looks like, oh, I think Critic just stepped out of the stream, but I think he's drawing this on paper. Are you still in here, Critic? Um... Yeah, my non-Photoshop version well, didn't get the finish. Got to run great stream Ah, oh, it was nice having you. You dropped by, critic. Um, yeah, so he's doing pencil sketch on paper from from the sketch we had, Tradition, which is which is stuff. awesome. Yeah, perfect. See, that's what I want to see. <laughs> oh, I grabbed the wrong window. I might have just messed something up. Nah, we're still okay. All right. Uh, the, the, the Adjust this on the fly real quick. Still getting used to this setup. Broke it, did it. All right, well, that'll do it. You broke it. Broke it. Uh, search with the hashtag. Oh, yeah, we should do a hashtag. Uh, what should the hashtag be? Um, let's call it... Uh, 
What's a good hashtag? Ooh. Let's do let's do Adobe Wolf sketch. Adobe Wolf, yeah. Yeah, that works. good call, Icy. Um <laughs> Epic. Yeah, a mini blizzard in the background. <laughs> uh. All right. So I gotta put some more shadows in on this guy. We got a lot of work to do still. Even though like the base shapes are there, I don't know. Usually I don't do many shadows or in in highlights and whatnot, but I might. We might have some fun with it. You know what? I might have to take this in in in. Uh, Photoshop and apply some more effects and see what see what comes of it. Oh no, you can't you can't you can't show me up with you using my my, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's coming he's coming into my realm to show me up now. <laughs> I'll have nowhere to go. Shadows first. Do you ever, when you're doing like, like, here's a question for you. When you're when you're painting or whatnot, and you get all all your your base colors down, do you like doing shadows first, or do you do you jump in and do highlights first, or do you mix and match? Uh, shadows. Yeah. I always, I yeah, I always tend to do shadows first. I don't really have a reason. I don't know. I think it's just habit. I think. I think I've just always done it that way. Do you have like a reason why you do that? No, I guess it helps me to see. I I don't know. Yeah, I might be doing it wrong actually. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we're all just well, doing it wrong. Like, yeah. Well, now I think about it because I like to do shadows first because um, I probably don't have my midtones correct yet. So, like, I do shadows to see the depth and then. That's when I realize like my midtones are probably too bright. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it helps me. I don't know. It just helps me to see the highlights better. So like, yeah. So like this one. Well, this the, the one I'm working on now is such. We're just using a, a, a very a very minimal color set. Um, and so like this one, my highlight color might actually just be the same colors as teeth. So I'll probably just use white as the highlight on the yellow. And that way I'm not I'm not having to use a bunch of colors. Hmm. Do I need a highlight on his nose or do I not? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's what it was. Josh, I was trying to remember what, what Josh um, showed us up on, and it was uh, the, the Gaming Emblems one. And he killed it on that one. <laughs> and he didn't even finish. <laughs> that's the worst. That's the worst. Yeah, I was like, man. <laughs> He's like, oh, and it's only really halfway feel done. Bad. <laughs> when someone just blasts it out in a few minutes, and you're yeah. just like, oh. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm, I'm uninstalling everything. I quit. <laughs> yeah, just quit. Yeah, I just quit. Just quit. <laughs> when we used to do the Pass the Art series, all those guys that we used to, to, to do. I used to love that series. It was just like, like we passed it, it. It was like, it, it was very similar to, to, I don't know if, if you guys ever did skateboarding, but you, to like follow someone up in skateboarding. So, like, but what I mean by that is, is somebody would do a trick, and then somebody would like try to try to do that trick and outdo it in some way, or you know, do something else. Just try to just just try to outdo it, right? Cool. To follow it up with with something, try to do something, uh, you know, a little bit harder or whatnot. 
and that's what it felt like when doing that stuff it was it was like oh man this is too good i gotta like i gotta really put effort in now <laughs> oh no you just go first yeah <laughs> even if you went first by the end you're like man <laughs> it was like no first was the hardest actually because it was on you to like set oh, but the there's bar no... <laughs> oh yeah but 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 there's no pressure on you to up the bar <laughs> So surely being first would be the easiest. Maybe. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'm not going to disagree I... with you, but I mean, I'm not going to agree. With... You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was fun, just, though. It was it was a blast. I just I don't think I'd trust myself to do something better than <laughs> the last guy. <laughs> Hey, we got Ryan and Nate in here. Well. I got, I got to add to that. I can add to that. I can, I can do the taffy face. Well, bam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do their trick cleaner. Yeah, yep. Uh, I don't know if it was, it was so much cleaner. It was just like because you just like you wouldn't even really like. I don't know. Skateboarding was a blast. Oh yeah, I used to, I did, used to, used to dabble. Yeah. Yeah. Did you skate? Oh yeah, I did it a lot actually. Yeah. <laughs> and I, 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 I remember, I remember I ended up breaking my leg somehow. You broke skating. your leg on a skateboard? Oh yeah, bad, uh. like real bad. And I was just like, yep, I'll try that again. <laughs> oh no way, Hefix. That's for that's for a skate company. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you, yeah, I can totally see that working for a skate company. So, Hefix, you got it here. Tweet it at me so I can show, uh, I can show everybody what, what you're talking about, the sketch. Um, oh, that would work out perfect. You could even do, I wonder if you got it. Do you have enough room to put like a, like a, it looks like a bolt in the middle of the O? Would be cool. Um, yeah, no, I just, so there's a, there's a skate park here. When I grew, so where I'm at now is where I grew up. And, and then I left for a lot of years and growing up here, I spent, I spent like, I don't know, 20 something years on a skateboard and there were no skate parks. Like every time a skate park would come up, somebody would tear it down or like they'd have to close up because they couldn't carry the insurance or something stupid. And so mm. there was never a skate park around town. But now I come back and there's like a few of them built here. And so I went out and actually tried it after, I don't know, it had been like, 11 12 years since i tried to get on anything that resembled a ramp <laughs> it, was, it was like wow this used to be i, I remember when this felt easy and it doesn't now <laughs> it feels really you're hard. lucky like uh, we had none i have i have none where where we are no there skate, are no, no there parks. are no parks ah. none yeah <laughs> oh it was a blast though my legs hurt so bad just because uh, coming in off ramps, you, you know, you take all the, you take all the, uh, the momentum is like on your knees and quads. Yeah. And I spent maybe a half hour out there just like rolling down transitions and whatnot. And I just, I felt like, I felt like I had peg legs when I was done. <laughs> I couldn't even, like, oh, I forgot how hard this was, <laughs> but it was a blast. I just remember falling yeah, I didn't off. break anything. <laughs> oh, I did. Uh, oh yeah, I did. I broke a lot. <laughs> In fact, talking about, it, I might have to, might have to try it tomorrow. So, if you don't hear from me tomorrow, <laughs> things went south. <laughs> yeah, skateboarding was was one part. Um, one part getting thrown out of a lot of places. That's what I feel like. Yep, that, that's the majority of it was. That's a lot of it. Yep. Yep. Even though we weren't doing anything bad, they just don't like. They, big they, shout it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you hooligans, get out of here! Like, man, <laughs> those are really polite. <laughs> just got here. <laughs> hooligans, cool. You got thrown out politely. <laughs> uh, all right, 
Graphics tweeted it. Uh, let me see. I saw another work in progress actually that I wanted to bring up on stream. Um, uh, oh, Blake! Blake is working on one. That see now, talk about totally different style. Um, this is looking pretty cool, Blake. Much more of an outlined. Man, see, oh man, I can totally see some some really cool shapes coming out of there. You could even simplify that way down and turn it into like a like an outline logo. Like that could be pretty cool. I have to wait for the stream. I got. I'm up. forgetting to like retweet all this stuff. I like. I... That's cool. I have to wait for the stream to catch up. Yeah. Let me retweet the stuff coming through. Um, I see. All right. If you got it, send it over. Yeah. Here's here's the the jolt one. So. Yeah, now now I totally see. Uh, man, I wish you had said working on a logo for a skate company. Then I'd be like, <laughs> I was giving you a hard time, Epic. But yeah, I wonder. I don't know. I wonder if there was a way to. I forgot how 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 thick the lettering was, but um, yeah, this is looking cool. Jolt, yeah, and then I had a reply to you. That's what I think of when I think of Jolt. We had Jolt Cola that was super terrible for your health. <laughs> <laughs> so made it so good. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it had, I think it had the equivalent amount of caffeine as like four or five cups of coffee in it. And it oh, was damn. just jam packed with like one corn of syrup and sugar. <laughs> This it's was one. okay. So now you guys have like Red Bull and Monster Energy and whatnot. That's what we drink. We drink Joe Cola, just cans of sugar, basically. It was, yeah, sugar and, and like way too much caffeine for what we should have been drinking. <laughs> I bet Taffy remembers it. <laughs> Ryan, are you still in here? You remember Joe Cola? And then it got like it got banned. I think at one point. Like Not it was, surprised. they realized this is really bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say I'm overly shocked. This is looking good, Lux. Very nice work. Yeah, I'm bringing a few up on 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 screen here. Very cool. His teeth look gnarly. All right. Keep motoring along. Got too many windows open. I'm getting lost. <laughs> I feel like I'm at IKEA on my computer. I'm lost. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. I don't have to do all that. What's that? I'm I'm quite happy. I don't. I don't I'm I'm just, I'm just sitting back and chilling. <laughs> I gotta put more highlights in. I remember where, where to put the stuff that I was thinking. Good old Jolt Cola. I'm gonna see if I can find some Jolt Cola now. I don't know if they still make that stuff or not. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff that's similar, but... Oh, I'm sure I could find it. <laughs> That'll keep me awake on those long nights of thumbnails. Long nights. You mean you mean long days, like a few of them. In Never a row. ending days. <laughs> <laughs> they all just mesh together now. <laughs> I have to ask people what day it is. That's when you know it's got bad. I feel like when I you have to like this isn't double like... check what day it is. No, I know, I know that feeling. I definitely know that feeling. This other point down here is not... There it goes. All right. All right. Let's 
slowly getting some highlights on. I haven't done with my line work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. We get to we usually get to talk, and it's 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 very rare that I I, I finish anything on the stream. <laughs> I wonder if I can do. Well, there we go. I was running into weirdness with. There's a tool in Illustrator called Shape Builder. And I must have, I don't know, I must have like toggled some random weird setting and it threw everything off for a bit and I was scratching my head how it happened and then it fixed itself. So, I don't know, I don't know what I did. Uh, these don't look good. Recut these. Oh, uh, for any of you guys that stream, there's a, a new um, audio player that you guys might want to try out. Um, there's this thing called Pretzel, and it's in Alpha. Um, and if you want to, go sign up for the uh, the Alpha, and maybe they'll send you an invite to try it out. It's a... a, a uh... Oh, I forgot to copy that one. It's a music player that plays nothing but but music that is okay for streaming. That's pretty cool. It's perfect. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You always find the things with the coolest names. <laughs> Not right off the bat. <laughs> but like pretzels is such a good name. <laughs> haunted illustrator. Yeah, sometimes I sometimes I feel like everything I touch is haunted. <laughs> it's not just illustrator. <laughs> uh, do they have a metal playlist? No, but they're gonna they're 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 not at the moment, but that is definitely in the pipeline. It's gonna be Get the on plan it, is to have many, many genres. So um, as it grows, yeah, it's going to be, it'll, it'll be cool. Um, so uh, easy. Uh, nope, you haven't missed much. So we're working off of, oh my gosh, I just, I, out the corner of my eye, I just saw your line work, Adam. <laughs> come on, dude. Ah, man, I want to start over. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> so for those just joining in, we did a uh, we did a, a base sketch, and uh, we invite you to to work off of it like we are and take it your own direction. Um, and actually, I forgot about the hashtag. Ugh. So, uh, as you work, uh, post it up on Twitter. I'm trying to find the, where did the tweet go? I'll find it real quick. Um, okay, so I'm gonna post it in the chat again. The base sketch and then, uh, you can take it, you can draw over it in any program you want. You can, uh, we've had, uh, uh, one of the viewers here, Critic, he had to jump out, but he was redrawing it on, or he was just drawing his own on paper from what he saw on screen, which was really cool. Uh, are these bears or wolves? They're whatever you want to make them. <laughs> if it looks more like a bear, it can be a bear. <laughs> a bear would be we went for cool. a wolf, and then it just kind of, any way you want. So um, Spiraled out of control. That's kind of the point, though, where, where you just, you, you, you start with just the base sketch, and then just riff off of it any way you want um uh Hefix, don't get mad <laughs> the artist making it into a bunny perfect <laughs> let's see yeah like i was saying before milkman it can be like you can put horns on it i don't know you can give it sunglasses uh 
Ooh, sunglasses. Whatever you want. The Ooh. only the only stip stipulation was start with the base sketch and just go to town. So that's that's what we're doing, easy. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I see good old Tom made it right on top. Uh, or a vicious Barney. <laughs> I gotta see that. <laughs> You're making Daniel frustrated, Adam. Me? What? <laughs> Don't get what frustrated, I do? Daniel. Uh, let's see. Hey, what, what did I do? Oh, Quantum, I'm sorry. I missed. I missed. You posted the same thing that that uh, uh, that Easy posted. Yep. Sorry about that. I I should have gone over it a few minutes ago. Um, Let's see. I'm seeing if I missed anything else in the chat. A Chewbacca with the Vader helmet. That'd be interesting. That'd be a cool mashup. Yeah. With just the... <laughs> the fur coming out the bottom. I don't know why I started thinking of Spaceballs. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Spaceballs? I think so. If you haven't, yeah, you gotta watch Spaceballs. <laughs> it's like... A parody of Star Wars. I forget when it was done uh, in the '90s. At some point, when I, when I was a wee babby. Too funny. You gotta. It, it, but the helmet he's got is is the the guy that plays Darth Vader, Rick Moranis. Um, uh, extra points if anybody in the stream can remember his character's name. What what was his name? Um, without googling it. <laughs> yeah, without googling it. I bet Swami knows. <laughs> but it was uh, uh, oh, it was like a, a just a giant version of the Vader helmet. Yeah, it made him look like a like a little tiny person because the helmet was just as big as he was. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Oh my god. Okay, oh, I'm gonna have, I'll have to watch mask, it. Like he didn't. The mask like flipped down out of the helmet, so he didn't have. Uh, so so it wasn't really. You know, it was like, you know, Darth Vader has two pieces of the helmet, right? So it's the mask, and yep. then the helmet goes on top of the mask. So his yep. would just, like, flip down, like a visor, like, out of the, the helmet. It was great. It was it was too funny. Dark helmet. Was it Dark helmet or Darth helmet? Oh, yeah, they couldn't say Darth, right? So it had, it was Dark helmet. That was his name. <laughs> Dark. Dark you gotta helmet. watch it. If you haven't seen it, man, you gotta watch it. Uh, I think I'm going to now. Just because of Dark helmet. Just because of that name. Uh, it's too funny, but that came to mind. Draw, draw his helmet with Chewbacca wearing it. <coughs> I won't repeat that quantum, but yeah. <laughs> uh, man. EG, EG. We'll keep it PG. Oh man. <coughs> The guys comb in the desert. He's out in the desert. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have comb. to. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to search that one out. I think. Oh man, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. The name sounds familiar, but I think I would have remembered that. The final scene is one of the one of the coolest parts. It has a uh, a shout out to Alien in it. Oh, I'll love it then. Alien's my favorite film. <laughs> That's not even a joke. A Alien is my favorite film. Are you going to go see the new one then? The the Yeah. What's it called? Covenant? <clears throat> yeah, I think so. I'm going to go dressed as a xenomorph. <coughs> You're going to go dressed as what? I'm going to dress be dressed as a xenomorph. I'm just going to get a big long helmet. You going to dress like Ripley? No, I'm going to be dressed as the <laughs> alien. <laughs> As the alien, just gonna have a massive helmet on. <laughs> That'll be cool. I heard they be changed it up, like they make it look more. Uh, what's the term? It's, like more archaic or something? In it's this one? different. Yeah. Yeah. It does look different. Yeah. It looks cool though. But then, guy, anything guy good designs just looks amazing. That was all Geiger. Oh, Geiger? Is that how you say, how you pronounce it? Is it Geiger or Geiger? I don't know. I pronounce it Geiger, but I'm Geiger. probably wrong. 
Yeah, I always, I've, I've, I've always wanted to visit that bar that he designed. Have you seen pictures of that? I think so. Yeah, I love, I love everything. His stuff just looks so, like, weird, but in a really cool way. Yeah, like nightmares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm all about the horror though. Yeah, but he did, he did the interior design to a, a bar. I forget where it's at. I think it. Is it in Germany or something? Road trip? Question mark. <laughs> but it's all done up like Xenomorph. Like all the oh. walls and everything. I'd never leave. It's it's super spooky looking, dude. I Yeah. No, I'd probably I'd... like go check it out and then be like, yeah, let's let's uh let's live here. Let's go watch something happy now. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Um, he did uh, the microphone stand for corn. Oh, that's right. And that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I remember seeing that a while ago. I gotta go look that up and remember what it looked like. But I do remember hearing about that. Man, I wonder. I wonder what. This is, this is. I wonder what he charged. I'll just be blunt. I wonder what he charged for it. <laughs> I have to do that. Or if he just did it because it's you know like how many people ask for how many people ask for that a mic stand that looks like you know. Oh, that's yeah. I don't think that's that's some specialty stuff. I don't know if I like this white one. It might be too bright. Yeah, that would be a trip. So I'm I'm close enough where I could actually do it. I'd ride there. Oh, that'd be a brilliant ride. Well, well, how 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 far is it from you to get to? It would be a long ride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Germany? Ooh, I'd have to get, get that. Whew. I'd have to, I'd have to look. Cause that'd be a long way. So Daniel said, "Is Giger?" I thought, yeah. So. <clears throat> Favorite character from Spaceballs? Uh, it has to be, well, it's a toss up between uh, uh, Rick Moranis or, uh, or John Candy. John Candy played the Chewbacca. I think his name was Barf. <laughs> <laughs> Barf. Oh. Short for Bartholomew. <laughs> I, 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 have to, I have to watch this movie now. You're selling it to me. <laughs> the Millennium Falcon is a uh, uh, an RV like a Winnebago <laughs> in space <laughs> it's just so... oh my god I uh, need this great. movie he uh, Hefix yeah I, I plan so um, I, I plan to try to, to bring on some some guests here and there uh, uh, so Ad, Adam is gracing us with his presence tonight <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, man I mean I, I did kind of kind of ask you to stay up stupid late, so you're you're doing uh, me a solid, bud. <laughs> uh, it's a, I've, I'll probably what is it like? It's like it's tomorrow. It's, there, it's only twelve. <laughs> it's like one o'clock. I won't be going to bed for for ages. <laughs> but it's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm in the future. I'm I'm from the future. Oh man. So Hefix, yeah, I, I I plan on bringing on some guests. I plan to ask John. Um, uh, got got some other other uh, uh, people in the mix, and I, I we're it's kind of gonna be like you know we'll still focus on design for sure, but be be a, a bit of a variety. So hopefully something for everyone. If that didn't sound like total like gibberish marketing blabber. 
No, that's that's good. Like then every everyone everyone fits in. I think it's just cool seeing the, just how varied like people how how people do stuff. Yeah. And then Ooh. different styles and stuff. Everyone has it different. Yeah, like Riddler. Mine's... Send send me a, a a DM on Twitter. That's kind of where I'm collecting it at the moment. Um, Flotality. It's it's one fifty. Okay, so I'll be honest. Flotality. The the the. Just the fact that you put a comma in the time. Tells me where where, where you're at. It, yeah, you're you're way in the future. <laughs> <laughs> When 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 formatting starts changing <laughs> to what I'm not like uh, used to, <laughs> uh, just breaks you. Just breaks you. <laughs> I see Batmonkey tuned in. I get a nice little notification on Twitch when Batmonkey tunes in. Um, yeah, uh, Josh, it's uh, it, it's Graphic Wizard. Uh, John Dean from uh, he's, he's on the Twitters. Um, <clears throat> it's going to come on back when Travis was still doing the stream, but I didn't have a webcam. Maybe I should pick one up. Blake, yes, you should. That's kind of my only requirement. <laughs> we got to be able to see you. <laughs> um, you're in Germany. Okay, so 150. Wow, 2 a.m. in Germany. Man, oh, he's in Germany. We're gonna go. We're gonna go visit Flotality when we go see yep. the, the the Giger Bar. All right. Yes, it's a plan. <laughs> it's, it's like 500, 530 miles. That's for only me. yeah for me. I think that's only like six thousand. So we're good. Yeah, we probably get there first. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check the old Twitters and see what what's happening. Wait, okay, did I just? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> okay, I, well, I gotta wait for it to stop. How do I restart something? Something? Yeah, hold on. Is this okay? So Thomas Cave posted it. Thomas, what you what you're using? Are you Thomas in in the chat? Are you hiding? Where are you? Um, I want to restart this GIF. Okay, if I refresh the page. This is pretty cool. So let me find it. All right. So Thomas, <laughs> I gotta retweet this first before I forget. So you start with a sketch. Let me play this. Went to like big solid shapes, turned it into a pattern. And then is this is this one of the the uh, the the abstracts tutorials you ran it through? That looks really cool. That's, that's really pretty, cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So talk about yeah, talk about taking the base sketch and just going, you know, way out in the left field, like doing your own thing. That's pretty awesome, man. Good he's job, done, Thomas. He's done all that, and I'm like, we're just sitting here. <laughs> he animated it too. <laughs> yeah, we're just sitting in drawing still. Uh, and then Blake's, we got a, a further along, and Blake's looks really cool. I like the outline style. Dude. <clears throat> and I like the the little the little things like uh, where the, the the edges or the ends don't connect, like they don't connect to a bigger shape, and you've left them just straight. And then you yeah. continue like the color, the 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 next color around it that's really cool those little details are that's cool yeah that's a cool style i have to like that, that is cool i like that i like that too he om i noticed he omitted the top teeth too which is a good idea that works or no just put in the bottom teeth very nice let's see let me open let me open Thomas's again real quick. Now I can. I gotta see it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> You're still watching it. <laughs> this is pretty cool. 
I can't believe you did all of that in the time that it's taken me to draw an outline. <laughs> Good job, everyone. I'm proud. You're making me proud. Let's see. Adam, how long have you been using Photoshop? Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> yeah, you're making them think. Uh, <laughs> since I was. Probably. 16? Jesus. Cool, I've got to like. I'm not trying to think. Got to do the math. Yeah, because I, I did. It was work. It was when I did work experience for for school. So it must be. Cool. I I can't even. I don't even know. That's. You, long time. There you go. That's. Are you having an Evan moment? Yeah. The, can't do baths in my head. <laughs> bad. No, memory problem. I think probably <laughs> since probably probably sixteen was when I probably started. I think because I did work experience with a, a, a greetings card company. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, they're based in where around where I live, so I got work experience there, and they basically taught me how to use it all, and then. I remember one of them gave me a, a CD, you know, back when they were CDs. <laughs> Still remember taking that CD home. And then I just self-taught myself everything, really. Like, I knew how to do some basic stuff. But I, it, I, I found it so much easier to learn on my own. You're right. Rather than doing it in classes. And then by the time I got to college, I'd already been using Photoshop and all that for so long that they were teaching the students how to do stuff. And they'd look at me and just be like, do you know what you're doing? And I'd be like, yep. <laughs> yeah, that that's how my first Photoshop class was too. I'd, I'd spent like way, way too many hours into it already and... and I had to take it. It was like one of the first classes I had to take for an art major. And it was like, I don't know, like basic, you know, just. The, I hated it. Yeah, like basic Photoshop or whatever. And the professor was just like, you know, I did the first couple of assignments. And he's like, all right. And I didn't even didn't even show up anymore. He's like, yeah, you're yeah. fine. Just go. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I, did, I did art for a year. And then I went. There's level one, two, and three graphics in the college that I was at. And I went straight into level... Uh, did I do level two or level... I did level two. No. Did I do level two or level three? I can't even remember. <laughs> I, think it, I think it must have been level three. And I went in with the, the mindset of, okay, I'm going to be with everybody else that's going to know Photoshop as well as me and I'll learn more and the first day we I got in and no one knew how to use it <laughs> no one had ever used the program before at like the highest level of graphics in the college and oh, no one had used it before yeah that, that's a sign when if you want to continue school when you know you need to go to like an art school I was like yep See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's see. So, uh, Riddler, Adam's using Photoshop. Um, I am in the illustrators. Demo. Uh, oh, Blake, you didn't get shown up. <laughs> Two different styles completely. Uh, both look equally as awesome. Um in the early 2000s, there was an idea of implementing internet time. A day was divided into a thousand units. It was universal, no time zones, no daylight savings. It was indicated like this. E really? Uh, I don't remember that at all. I'm going to have to look that up. It does remind me of a joke, though. Of a, uh, well, not a joke, but a, a, a joke that 
If you guys have ever heard of Brian Regan's got a great joke about time zones and living at the North Pole. Like, how do you know when you're on time, early or late? <laughs> Depending on where you're standing. Um, let's see, I started when I was 12 and I'm now 17, so only about six years of self-teaching. Six years is a good chunk of time, Blake. That's, yeah, yeah that's... That's a pretty good chunk. Yeah. Um, I think you're going to color it, right, Adam? Are you going to color... You're yeah, just, I'll color it, yeah. Yeah, he's working on the, this is all the just, liner. This is just line work, yeah. Um... Game design in college for a year, and they were showing me how to use Photoshop. I already knew everything they were showing me, so my teacher took me outside and asked me if I would like to teach some of the class. Oh, that's cool. You declined? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, nah, it's your job. You're going to pay me? Too much <laughs> Way too much responsibility for me. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to cut my tuition then? <laughs> Yeah, Photoshop 7. I remember 7. Because there was no one at school. That was the same way. Yeah, somebody had... I forget how it was. Somebody had... In high school had Photoshop 5. And so I got to play around with that. Um, but I'd actually... Somebody... The first time I had gotten into Photoshop... I, I don't remember who had it, but somebody had a version of 3. When it was out. And so I, I played around with three for maybe like half an hour. And then I didn't get to touch it again until like, I remember 5.5 .5 had come out. And I remember there was some big changes. I think that might be when Layer Styles came in. Is that when Layer Styles was was introduced, was 5.5? .5? I remember there was just, it was, 5.5 .5 probably should have been like version six. Like the changes were that big, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I think I started. And there was like a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, I mean, it's like, it's crazy how much it's grown to now, though. Yeah, Hefix, I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're so old. <laughs> That's so mean. In fact, I I had uh, one of the coolest like pieces of computer hardware I had for making art was um, a, a scanner, but it was scanner it was yeah but you didn't it wasn't it wasn't a flatbed scanner like one of the first scanners was a handheld scanner and you had to scan at a certain speed like you had to like a like a paint roller and if you oh, went too cool. fast you like stretched it out it was, it was you, you i think if you went too fast you stretched it out if you went too slow it was too like squished together so to get like if you were to scan lettering like it it had you had to do it at a certain speed, like a certain pace, or it would distort all over the place. That was super fun in the art world, though, because then you could just walk around and scan, like, walls and things and move at different <laughs> speeds and get, like, weird blur effects and whatnot. You must I have mean, looked really cool. It did look cool. I mean, it was, like, stupid, yeah. terrible bitmap, but... <laughs> Just walking around scanning like walls. They, yeah, they make it like you can scan your documents. Okay, and I'm like, let's scan the wall. Let's scan. Oh, a cat. You know? <laughs> just, sorry, can I can I borrow your cat quickly? Like a, you're using it wrong. Oh, well, this is more fun. <laughs> <laughs> could I please borrow your cat? <laughs> oh, it was a blast. I could never scan anything properly. Like, I couldn't get the speed down. It was always just goofy. But yeah, I remember hand scanner, it looked like a paint roller. I think I'm, oh, feel, feel young now. <laughs> I don't remember any cool yeah. shit like that. Like, <laughs> I don't have, like, wall scanners, cat scanners. Well, technically, any scanner could be a cat scanner. Whether or not it's like, I just didn't have the imagination. To scan. <laughs> scan Whether a cat. Or not the cat enjoys it is a different story. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drop this into Photoshop and have some fun with it. Uh, Illustrator eighty-seven. That. Uh, E-shirts was that, um, you know, was that under Adobe at the time? 
Because it, it started out under a different name, didn't it? I'm trying to remember. Smart object. Paste. Alright, so I got I got sort of a mascot. It turned out alright. Lots of room for improvement. You know what, before I do this, I want to see what it looks like as just like a, like a single color. Just for the giggles. Um, put that on this background layer. Oh, I gotta show you. Um, so Travis showed me something cool. I did I show this on the last screen that you can? Um, I think I might have showed it, that you can set. So you can set the canvas color to 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 not be, um, to to any color other than just like the the default white. Did I show that yeah. on the last screen? Um. They bought, it was Adobe, okay. Was it called Illustrator 87? It's the first one, man. Remember starting Windows 3.1? <laughs> so one Father's Day, we uh, we bought my dad a mouse. A, a computer mouse had just come out. And we bought him one and we took it home and gave it to him and his computer physically did not have enough ram to operate a mouse <laughs> that's amazing uh, okay before i forget though yeah so if you want if, if you want to uh like quickly like i was going to draw out a, a background a, just a, a rectangle to make a background for for our wolf here um you don't actually have to do that if you don't want to i can go up to file and then document setup and you should see the prompt and this there's this checkbox called simulate colored paper if you click that and then you can click um on the paper oh but actually i gotta get let me get the values in place um i can punch in so i've got hsb open right so i i can punch in the the same color as say the the dark purple from the the wolf monster thing. So I'm going to punch that value in. Is that, no, no, I'm on hue saturation. One sec, before I jump into that, let me, let me find the RGB value, RGB file, document setup. Simulate color paper, click the top one. The, the bottom color is the grid color. Top one is the paper color. And right now it's just set to white. So I can set the RGB, Zero, three, hit add to custom colors, hit okay, hit okay. Then the minute I hit the artboard tool, it should change it. There we go. So it's it's pulling the transparency from the uh, the background layer. But yeah, so now you can, you know, your artboard is the background color. So it's a pretty, pretty simple way to do that. So now when I wanna do something like, I wanna see what this uh, mascot will look like on just a single color. I'll copy him, drag out another instance, and then let's see how he does. I'll use Shape Builder. And I'll get rid of. Get rid of. I just want to get back to mid tones. Oh. I need to keep that one though because it changed the shape of the overall face. So let me merge these before I forget. That, and then I can just grab the whole thing and say, let's just change it to like white. Yeah, it does all right as a standalone, as just a single color. We can use like the bright yellow, something like that looks cool. Very cool, but yeah, that's just changing, that's going into your document setup and changing 
the simulate paper color paper. So I turn it off, I think, and if I hit OK, it should just go back to the default white. Yeah, like that. So it's a cool little little uh, 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 tip there. Uh, no, <laughs> Chewy Nut. I was born in 78. You can do the math. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Don't want to just come out and say it. Yeah, I hope I still look still look that good at those ages, but we'll see. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh, okay. You guys ready to see? You ready to see it? The old easy bomb? I'm going to call you up from now on, I see. Easy bomb. Oh, the stream will catch up here in a sec. <laughs> I'm waiting to see your reaction, Adam. Uh... I'm watching. I'm watching. That's sick. <laughs> That's, 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 that is really cool. That's pretty cool. Put a hood on it, a cloak thing. That's pretty awesome. Oh, and that's, I'm just now seeing your the, the way you're handling the colors you, with the gradient. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks, Hefix. <laughs> That's really, that's really cool. I like that. That turned out really that's, good, I see. That's 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 my kind of that, stuff. That's that's the definition of killing it. <laughs> uh, I love what e-shirts did. You yeah, took it a whole nother direction too. That's cool. <laughs> that's very cool. Reminds me of like Wiley e. Coyote or, or uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's the, uh, oh, the, oh, there's another, like, it, it kind of has, the eyebrows remind me of like, like, a, like almost like dragon eyebrows, but that's really cool. Like the old tattoo <laughs> style. I love it. Yep. Very nice. All right. I got to retweet these. Yeah, he I see use the swatches too. So he's got the red in there, got the got the the purple for the the drool <laughs> and the yellow for the teeth. Man, that turned out awesome. Man, this one's nice yeah, cool. I want to now I want to get in with the with the tablet <laughs> and and try it again. Very good job, man. See, that's that's what I want to see. Right on. All crazy. these are looking great. Who is Adam? Adam is Adam Stokes. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, E-shirts, uh, Rap Fink, uh, Ed Roth. There you go. Yeah, got got kind of that Ed Roth vibe. Um, <laughs> thank you, Colin. I appreciate it. Little Red Riding Wolf. <laughs> Yeah, dude, these are turning out awesome. Uh, I am just starting out on the newer platform of, of Illustrator. Any tips? Um, man, so try the sketch. Grab that sketch and, and, and practice with the pen tool. Um, Don't use Illustrator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like a, a, a genius. What's the what's the two? Uh, we're making it sound like the the. The Hatfields and the McCoys <laughs> <laughs> fighting over which program? Just, yeah, back just to back, yeah, it's back to like the the the, the Windows Apple War, <laughs> the old days. It'll go on uh, forever. <laughs> oh man! All right, so I'm gonna try. I like to use a use a gradient. Somebody also said try to use uh, try it with a yellow outline. So I'll try that too and see how it looks. Um, was that you, Hefix? Um, Adobe Adam, the website link on your Twitch page leads to some Chinese virus site. 
Yeah, I think someone took my old. Um, they took dot com. They took my dot com. Oh no! My my uh, like my domain for dot com ran out, and it was five minutes, and someone took it. Oh man! So that's why mine's dot co dot uh, co dot uk now. Okay, everybody dot co dot uk. Don't go to dot com. <laughs> I, was very, I was very mad. I, I was mad. <clears throat> I love swamp meat. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. Let's try the orange to purple. Maybe throw a little blue in there. Do I have the scale up too high? Is that what's going on? Let me turn the let's move it. And then let's overlay. Let's see, what blend mode I always forget blend modes, like which one I've used in the past and for something. I gotta go through them all again and like try them all out. Yeah, that's what I just cycle through them. I thought it was overlay, but maybe remember. it's not overlay. Nah, I think it is overlay. I must have just turned it down. But that's what it is. The purple's too dark. There we go. Or actually, maybe the orange needs to be a bit more. Do a bit more yellow. Yeah, it's a subtle difference. All right, then I want to give this a bit of a drop shadow. Just a touch. And then I'm going to try it with it. With, since we put it as a, as a smart object, I can change the outline real quick and just see um, if, if the yellow is what we want I mean if the reds what we want if we want to go to yellow ever so slight all right actually let's do um, let's do another where to go another gradient and change this to White. I saw. I think it's. Um, it might be Cone. Is it? Is his name Cone? I saw somebody added some pretty cool effects to mascot logos and. You know, let's see how this looks. So radial. Turn the scale down. Move it over his eye. Let's do this eye. Then. Uh, Riddler wants to know uh, doing research for plan work, do you look at any graphic design books? Uh, yeah. Um, I've got. So, one book that I just picked up um, that I love is the, the, the Draplin one. Let me get it down. <clears throat> So, as far as graphic design, um, from that thud, it sounds like that book is it's awesome, bigger, bigger than me. <laughs> it's this one, pretty much everything, really cool. I mean, just look at the cover. I mean, even just the cover is enough to want to pick it up. Like, it's so good. Uh, Aaron Draplin, he's out of Portland. He's done design work for just a variety of different um clients uh, he did he did stuff for the uh, the obama administration actually um 
trying to, I know he's got it in here somewhere. Um, but he does like, uh, it's got some very cool little, little process things. So like his, his process to make that Cobra logo, stuff like that. Um, so it's just, it's all around a really good book. Really good. Um, he was actually, uh, uh, one of the inspirations for a lot of like, you know, like outline style stuff. Um, uh, real, just solid shapes and, and, you know, just, he's got real clean design. Um, that Cobra's cool. I like that yeah. Cobra's pretty sick. And it's got a collection of, like, other designs he's come across that, that he likes. Um, trying to find, he had, there's one where it's a, a, a picture, it's like an overhead shot where he, he put out, oh, yeah, like, huge process things like iterations through uh logos and whatnot it's a really good book if you get a chance to pick it up i i highly recommend it and then another series i like that's not not i don't really dig through it so much for client work but it's the uh the sticker bomb series um these are great they're just pages and pages of of stickers um and i think there's like i don't know there's like a dozen volumes of these now or something um just like all sorts of crazy random and they're all they're all stickers is that kind of what made you want to do the the series on your channel uh no i i saw this after um yeah just like all sorts of crazy crazy stickers there's a lot of cool stuff in here for ideas um but yeah those are two and there's like a whole series of these i think this is like number i don't know number six or seven i i want to say it's up to like 10 or 11 now or something i don't know don't quote me i'm i'm never a hundred percent correct <laughs> <laughs> no you're supposed to say you're always a hundred percent correct <laughs> no never <laughs> In fact, there should be a disclaimer at the bottom of the screen all the time, like Evan sort of <laughs> knows what he's wrong. talking about. <laughs> your, your quote is just don't quote me on that. <laughs> that, that that's uh, your quote. quote is, don't now. quote me on that. <laughs> yeah, your quote is don't quote me on that. <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, I've been looking at buying the Draplin one. Been watching a lot of his talks. Yeah, he's got a, he's got some really good stuff on Skillshare too. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, he's got a TED presentation. You know who else has a great TED presentation is uh, 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 Rodney Mullen, the the oh, skateboarder. It's great. Yep, Adams on a Cintiq. 22 yep yep would you same one as you i think would you recommend at drawing uh drawing a tablet or to hand sketch and take a photo either either or i i find myself doing both all the time so um it, it really depends on what you're trying to do um uh, <laughs> um sometimes like i'll start in a sketchbook because the pencil just feels better sometimes for certain things i guess and then other times yeah. i'll 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 jump right into uh the computer and the tablet or i'll I'd jump from one to, to the learn. other to the other it's probably good to learn how to sketch like with pencils and stuff yeah i think i, pr I should probably do it more than i do which is not at all <laughs> I, should, I should probably like do it like a little bit just just try it out <laughs> i used to I, I i don't know where it went like i used to love drawing with pencils and you know actual inks i used to love ink and quill like, i used to oh, love that oh yeah so satisfying when you get it right but it's so frustrating when you can't get the ink to come out 
It's the little things, just like the, the, the splatter, you know, like when you miss and it, you just get like little ink splatter. Yeah. That's how I, uh, I think when I was in college, I did a whole project on that. Like I went through and just made a whole bunch of stuff with just splatters of paint and ink and mm -hmm. all sorts of random stuff. Most of my brushes in here are splatter based. Right. It's a bunch of splatter brushes. Because that's that's actually uh, that's that's a uh, glad you mentioned that because you can just take it, take a photo of it, or scan it, and then turn it into a brush. You know. So. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, it doesn't take doesn't take long at all. Like making brushes is really really easy actually. Once I learned how to do it, I just started making brushes just out of anything. Yep. It gets really addicting just to... to... <laughs> Once you start, you just can't stop. <laughs> so, oh, I can make a brush out of this. <laughs> yep. I've gotten that way of patterns, making patterns out of everything I can get my hands on. Yeah, you've made, you've made I use I I have a few of yours actually. I have I have to admit I've 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 got a few. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like this fall off is too sharp. I need to Try diamond. No, it looks weird. I need something softer, I think. Uh, radial. Ooh. Like that. <clears throat> blur gallery. I like using tilt and shift blur on these two. <clears throat> that was. That was picked up from a Skillshare class, from a mascot class, was the, the tilt and shift blur on the edges. Yeah, I, 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 did, I, I did steal that from you, not going to lie. Well, it, 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 it looks cool, but I, it, it never struck me as it's kind of a, it, it's, it's essentially a, a, a new method to watermarking, because then somebody yeah. can't pick it up and... At, well, you can still trace it, but somebody can't like easily just trace it, you know, because the uh, the the blurred edges would throw it off. Make a brush out of a cat. Uh, yeah, Rodney Mullen is a legend. And yes, Hefix, uh, I am getting awfully close to. Actually, every stream I get close to spilling whatever I'm drinking on my desk. <laughs> feel like all right let's try now that i have this as a uh smart object i can open it up and let's see what that out that color outline looks like mm. I can't decide. I feel like it needs more yellow elsewhere in it. But the outline might be too heavy. Like, what if... Let's just try something. What if all the highlights were actually a darker gold? That looks weird. Maybe this bottom lip needs to be thicker. That does help it. Uh, so little things. Let's see. That didn't update. Let's see. Delete it. 
paste it in. I think I forgot to merge his teeth together. I did. You messed up his teeth, man. Completely forgotten how to how to Photoshop. Broken it. There we go. That's actually a little better. There's a little more of the yellow showing, which thickens it. Um, needs more cowbell. <laughs> oh, I better check Twitter. Let's see what's coming through. Ooh, Lux. Ran out of time, but I'll try and finish tomorrow. Still, that looks pretty awesome. That's looking mean. Very cool. Line work's looking really nice. Hmm. <laughs> right on. Man, I love seeing this stuff. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> what did I just make? <laughs> uh, I think... <laughs> oh, why did I break something? Is this... All right, did you, what, I wonder what parts are, like, the eyes do look like the same shape as the, the sketch here and there. It's actually a rabbit. <laughs> but it's a rabbit. <laughs> oh, that's looking good. <laughs> Very nice. I love it. That turned out really cool. Man, all these, see, there's such difference in styles. Just whichever direction you want to take it. Man, it's still looking cool. Very nice work, everybody. I'm. Everybody gets a donut. I told you I'd make a rabbit, yeah. <laughs> uh, very cool. Let's see. I got to give this canvas some more. Be one. Need some more space. That's one. Fixed it. Yeah? Oh, man, that's looking good. It's a killer bunny, yep. Uh, the hashtag actually, yeah, the hashtag was a, a, an afterthought. Um, <laughs> I think we had, what did we have? Adobe Wolf. Adobe Wolf. Was it Adobe Wolf uh, Sketch? Sketch, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Just tweeted at me, yeah. Just... We forgot. <laughs> Next time, I'll plan ahead. <laughs> uh, what's up, Stumpy? Uh, Chewy, yeah, you can actually, uh, if, you, if you want like to book private lessons, I do, I do that through a site called Rookie Up. Um, it's at rookieup.com, and you can go there, and um, if you, if you want to do you know, full-on, one-on-one, more like you know, uh, tutor-type sessions, um, or anything like that, you can, you can go there and, and book my time and yep, I'm all yours for, for whatever. Um, what keyboard do you use? I use a loud one. <laughs> yep. I got my MX blues. It's a mechanical razor thing. <clears throat> um, a mechanical razor thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the technical term for it, right? Uh, 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 sure. I think that's the model name, the, the mechanical razor thing. No, it's a, it's a Black Widow. It's, it's a have. spider. <laughs> yep, I have the same. The artist of you, yeah, I saw that. That was a nice touch with the the skull and, and <laughs> crossbones <laughs> with the carrots. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Have you got the link to that website? Yeah, it's just uh, it's just rookie up, rookie up. There goes loud keyboard again. Um, 
so satisfying when it goes though when you type on it <laughs> just a click, 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 you know click, it's click, working click. <laughs> it's great i love it uh and you can clean them you can take all the keys off and like vacuum it and yeah change the key caps oh yes um yeah davis do you mean the rookie upside let me uh I whispered it. Um. Yeah. Anytime. Um. Yeah. It's it's uh. Uh. And 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 reach out. You know, reach out to me beforehand if there's any issues. Um. But yeah. Yep. What are you cringing at, Stumpy? <laughs> My my two quotes my uh, don't quote me and <laughs> oh, that's, a brilliant, that's a brilliant quote though and my my keyboard model number is loud <laughs> racist thingy <laughs> it's like <laughs> uh... all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you kind of see i always have to plan ahead or it goes off the rails let's see how we got how close we got to this was the uh, my sketch and i dropped some colors into it and yeah it turned out a little bit meaner a lot cleaner for sure um still has just more of that you know the style was was going after the the mascot vibe so that's where we ended up adam's got something like you have no idea it's like <laughs> werewolf dude <laughs> that's pretty awesome <laughs> it, it, it kind of went a bit a bit mad at the end man it looks gnarly that's pretty cool <laughs> thanks epics we try to keep it fun low key and fun and have have any of you guys noticed something interesting about Adam's webcam? So it first flickers. Thing, the first thing I noticed when I called him on it, something about his wallpaper. Oh God! <laughs> oh, it was. It was legitimately the first thing you said. Yeah, I was like. Your wallpaper matches the pattern on the background. <laughs> Unintended. Super subliminal. <laughs> I planted it there. Yep. I put it up just for the stream. <laughs> I've got... <clears throat> let's see. I'm going to run... There was some light effects I wanted. There's one I like called... Um, light leak kit I'll give some, some more color I better save this no that's that's the third quote it should just simply be someone remind me to save <laughs> man bear pig that it, it's it's like werewolf's gonna eat my face <laughs> <laughs> i mean i mean i mean you knew, you knew you knew what you was getting into oh yeah yep yep when you invited me on it dark side <laughs> uh, you know what i wonder i'm gonna i wonder if i still have that collab that that josh like left us high and dry on let me find it yeah, I left hanging. <laughs> it's fair where I saved it. Um, so Adam and I a while back was working on a collab, short for collaboration. Uh, if I can remember where I saved it. All right, this might be a fail. I don't remember where I saved it. Um, I 
Ah, birds are right in my windows. Uh, where did it go? Um, hmm. Well. We, uh. I know I, I still have it. I, it's. Somewhere. Hashtag blame Josh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where'd it go? Um, we love you, Josh. We know <laughs> you're busy. Uh, oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna be sitting here for hours looking for this file now. Then I'll go to bed and I'll wake up at like 3 a.m. going, I remember where I saved it. It's always the case. Man, well, remind me on Twitter to find it. I think I broke Photoshop. The colors are looking very weird. What'd you do? I don't know. I broke it. Let's see, what are we at here? We're at six. Oh, we, we've only got 15 minutes left. Um, man, now this can drive me nuts. Where did it save to? Uh that's the problem with with my computer man <laughs> i don't think it's the computer it's it's the the eefs system stands for evan eckard filing system and i can never find anything when you have like 10 different folders and they're all named stuff stuff more stuff stuff one stuff <laughs> Everything's just called stuff. <laughs> uh, starting to see, I'm starting to see. <laughs> How, where'd the cringe come from? I don't cringe because it's fun. <laughs> it's it's fun to make racket with your <laughs> with your keyboard. Uh, oh come on, where did I put it? Man, my colors have gone so wonky. <laughs> the hell has happened? To my... Photoshop's dying. Oh, is it like you got a blend mode, weird blend mode happening or something? You know what? I, I want to try to make. I killed it. I've broken it. I've done the chain link thing before. I wanted to try to do it real quick. See what would be the would be the quickest method to do it. I could draw it out, or we could do we do this chain link pattern brush. Um, let's bump the outline way up, not that far, and then it's live corners. About like that. Okay, now object path, offset path. Let's preview. We want to go negative twenty. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's give it some shadow. Object path, offset path. This one will do negative ten. There you go. All right. It'll Bump it up, object path, outline stroke. This will be, make the bottom a shadow. Although if it goes around a circle, it's not really gonna be the bottom of it anymore, but whatever. Maybe like, that all right and then i definitely broke it is it freezing up no uh i've tried to try to figure out what's happening <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go to Apparently my quote is just Photoshop is dying. You killed it? I killed it, yeah. Alright, so 
turn this into a stroke. Why? Photoshop, why do you do this? Just copy this one. I thought you were my friend. Okay, live corners. Alright, so now. Let's do object, path, outline stroke. Shape builder. Oh wait, we need to grab that too. Hold on. That one. Shape builder. Mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm messing this all up. I'm doing this backwards. All right, hold on. Object path. Outline stroke, and then I need to get rid of the, these pieces. All right. Then on the halfway point, control or shift M to go into shape builder. Get rid of that half. This I can merge. All right, I'm doing the, the hold alt trick. Who, who mentioned that? Hold alt to make a copy and hold shift. Wait, I did it wrong. Oh, you're trying to, trying to, trying to chain brush. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then and press O, reflect. That, okay, so we have our, our chain link. So now, if I go to brushes, and I just drag it over into brushes. Pattern brush, okay. It's only gonna work on a circle though. Well. Like your brush, you can go like any direction, right? Yep. Yeah, I don't know how well this will work at any direction. I know it'll work on a circle. I do a circle. I'm an evil brush genius. You are. Go back to brushes and that. Chain link. I know how to do it that way. What happens if we do it on a curve? Does it retain? You, oh. It kind of works. It's, <laughs> it's kind of iffy where like chains don't bend that way. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> that's a problem. That's kind of a problem. <laughs> Uh, there's probably a better way to do this. I mean, it is getting a... I, it it sort of works. <laughs> An electric relay switching magnet on and off all <laughs> My keyboard makes the same noise. It, it's just not as loud in the microphone. Yeah, My mic doesn't just, pick yeah, it up. You don't have a microphone directly on top of it like I do. <laughs> Yeah, you like slam your fingers through the keyboard too. Well, I I was born with uh, the I forget what the 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 medical term is, but these bones on my fingers are are denser than normal people. So I forget what that that there's a medical condition for it, and it's uh yeah, it's just these these end bones, and they're like they weigh like three or four times as much. It's really hard to like pick stuff up sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Like turkey tappers. Yeah. I completely made that up, by the way. So that would be cool, though. <laughs> what kind of witchcraft am I looking at? Uh, 
Oh, Riddler's off. We haven't even got that long left. I don't think. What's that? Fine. We're now we're, we're 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 trying to figure out how to make uh how to make these chain brushes. Like Adam's got a really good one. Yeah, I got it down. <laughs> Whoosh. I'm trying to make one. Whoosh. I want to. Let's see. I'm gonna add color to this one, and that'll make it look cooler. We need gold chains is what we need. We're going to grab, actually, we're going to grab our mascot colors. That's what we're going to do. Object, range, send back, and the dark part will be the, oh, will be the purple. Make sure all these line up. Do a rope one. I'll, I'll make I'll make a rope one right now. You know how to make a rope one? I can make a rope one. I'm sure. I'm sure I could figure it out. Uh, I just have to actually figure it out. <laughs> Let's do this. May work, this may not. <laughs> oh, do I have... Okay, no, it's there. So if I go like this, and then... Did I lock that? What's going on? Object, why can't I grab... Oh, I am selecting it. Okay, so Control, Shift M, and then... Uh, this just... one, I must have used the darker color already. So this one becomes brighter yellow? Is that? Do I have them flipped? I do this. Where's the. Oh, yeah, I got the. I'm pulling the wrong color here. I think I did it the wrong way. Uh, how did I do this before? No, I can't remember how I did it. <laughs> That's why there's so many earthquakes in California. Yeah, it's totally just my typing. <laughs> so now let's drag this over. See, this will no, look better. It just, just doesn't work. How did I do this before? Okay. I've done it before. I made a rope one before, but there's, now I can't remember how I did it. There's probably a way. Yeah, um, I'm, and I'm and regarding the the like the turns, there's probably a way to do this where like they don't bend, but I can't remember how to do it. But there we go. So now we have our we got chain link circles. I got that far. <laughs> Keith Richard fingertips. Yep. <laughs> Glue my calluses back on. <laughs> oh man. I'm just making myself look dumb now because I can't remember <laughs> how to do this. <laughs> no. Here you go. Heavy fingers. No, nope, I broke it. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my chain. We're gonna have to. We, we yeah maybe. <laughs> I really broke it. I can't. I can't. We we should. We, there could be a whole stream trying to f focus on brushes. <laughs> like it's like it's a pattern brushes, it's a journey yeah. in itself. <laughs> oh, the chain one took me hours. Yeah, guardians. Yeah, that's what that's what I said when I was when I was putting the first one together. That it wasn't always going to be on the bottom. And when it turns, see how it, yeah, technically down here it's on the top. So that might be. That might be one where we just we just do the outline and then you 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 go in unless there's some like crazy magic we can do. I don't remember how to do it. But um like you just do the outline then you actually go in and color each piece so that the shadows are on the correct side. 
Yeah, mine are just uh, outlines. You can't actually... Right. Like, you have to go in and colour them. Mm. I can... Even then, even then you can cheat. I mean, you can just select the that. outside, invert the selection, and then just fill it. <laughs> Auto-centered, auto-overlap, nah. Just get some real... Yeah, you, you, you wind up with... Um, situations where chains don't bend that way. <laughs> bend, Unless you're bend the Hulk. Chains. <laughs> chains. Well, I mean, we got we got close. <laughs> I mean, you got a chain. It's just a bit of a bendy one. A bendy chain. <laughs> it's like those those plastic ones that that they put in front of like. Clubs. <laughs> All right, Brett, have a good one. Um, yes, so in a few minutes, this is uh, this is the last stream of the day. We, uh, we Ooh, stream we're closing the it out. channel streams from 7 to 7 every day. So uh, we get the, 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 we get to close it out here on the, the Tuesday night's creative uh, design lab uh, craziness. So... When we close out the Adobe stream, though, what we like to do is we like to take all the chat and raid another channel, and so another art channel. So uh, in a few minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it up in the in the chat on where to go, and uh, we're all going to jump over there when this stream is over and say, hey, what's up? How's it going? Surprise them. And their reaction is usually priceless. So... Yeah, just they, oh! it's, it's awesome. <laughs> what is happening? So before we go, though, I want to give a big thanks to Adam for dropping by and and killing it with the werewolf we got going on. <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy wolf. I didn't really when I started. I had no idea where I was going. <laughs> That's the fun part, though. You don't. You have. It's like we'll just dive in and go. <laughs> yeah, figure it out. No, it was fun. Thank you for having cool. me on. We'll have you on again, bud. And do something, do something else. And uh, yeah, thanks again for stopping by, bud. We'd love to have you. Um, if you haven't checked out Adam's stuff, Swami just posted a link to check him out. So check out his stuff. Uh, remember to go to the .co.uk one. <laughs> for his yes, website. don't don't go to the .com. Don't go to the .com. And uh, yeah, and everybody else that that followed along and and did some 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 artwork with us, I appreciate it. I hope you learned something. And we will catch you uh, next Tuesday. And we'll see what 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 the uh, what it is. I don't know what it is yet. Well, I got ideas. We'll, we'll figure what, it out. <laughs> see, see what it is. See what shenanigans you can get yourself into. Oh man! All right, all. I will leave you uh, uh, with the. Where is the thing? Oh, I gotta put the thing in. Okay, so hold on. The the Evan. thing there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, God damn it, Evan. I'm spamming it. <laughs> All right, all. We will catch you next Tuesday. Let's go. Uh, let's go raid the channel. All right, later, all. Peace. Say bye, Adam. Say goodbye. <laughs> let's go raid. Let's go raid. <laughs> <laughs>